So what happened was crash. <laughs> uh, it's up to you, DM discretion, because it doesn't list an HP for the thing. Uh, however, I I would just say, uh, your characters would know this. It's probably just safer to take twenty on it, because you're gonna make a lot of noise when you do this. And draw a lot of attention. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing then? Are you attacking, um, or what? Sumi tells him to, like, to... Sumi stops Vermont from attacking. He's like, no, no, no. That's if you want to get detected, that's the... That's how you get detected. <laughs> but, uh... What do you mean by take 20 on the door? Will it, like, just open the door, pretty much? Take 20 pretty minutes much. Uh, it, I believe 20 it... 20 minutes to just open the door. Uh, I don't think it's 20 minutes. I think it, like, doubles the time. Or right. 20... Half Uh, there's... And it gives you a plus 20 bonus. That's why it's called that. Oh, okay. So just try to open the door except with plus uh, 20. Take 20 when you have plenty of time and you're faced with no threats or distractions and the skill being attempted carries no penalties for your fail. Oh, well, I, I guess mean, it does carry penalties. Yeah, because so, there could be somebody coming by. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. When you're here. Okay, you can take 10. Ten is the same thing, except for except uh, less time, and you get only ten. Okay. Uh, so instead of rolling a one d twenty for a skill check, calculate your results as if you have rolled a ten. For many uh, routine tasks, such as taking ten, make them automatically successful. So I guess this wouldn't actually work because the lock is much stronger, but you don't know that. Yeah. So basically, it would be like if you rolled a 10 and then you add your modifier. Okay. okay. So, so, so if I roll, so if me or Vermont rolls, it'd be like, um, last time I rolled a 20, 20 plus 4, it'd be d20 plus 14. Mm -hmm. So you get a 24. Alright. So, so Vermont, what's your dex? My dex is... What's your mod for, uh... 18, holy shit, uh, four, plus 4 mod. What's your mod for the your disabled device is, is similar? It's probably it's crack. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's the same as mine. Alright, okay. so... Are we, are, are we allowed to take 10, considering the laser shoots us if we fail? You are. It's, uh, no... For this one, isn't it specified that there is no risk? So, okay. it, there, there is risk, so you can take but you cannot take 20. Okay. Hey, Vermont, you wanna make an attempt this time? Fuck yeah, I'm on this. You know as much as I do. Alright, let's go. So Zach, yeah. I don't quite understand what take 10, take 20 means. I'm like, what? Uh, you take extra time to uh, make sure you roll a 10. It's, you basically, it's, to think of it like this, they keep trying. Okay. Yeah. And they take the, the 10, it's, it's, you yeah. get the average. Yeah, she, it's basically um, because you're like you're taking your time more and everything, but like it gets to, um, you're going, you're not rushing through it. You're taking is my interpretation. So like he's going slower, but he gets the an additional ten. Okay. So. All right. So I roll with a. All right, you roll a ten plus your modifier. Fourteen. Oh, you don't roll. So that would be 24. Does a 24 make the DC? Doesn't. Uh. No. Alright. That doesn't well, matter. So, I tried. Alright, let's roll. go blast this thing apart. Uh, you failed, so I think that means the laser turret gets a shooty shoot. Yeah, I'm a yeah. shooty shoot. And this is at Vermont? Yeah, it's at Vermont. Does that meet your oh, AC? No, it doesn't. Oh. Alright, it misses. The goblins Wait, nearby head. look over at you. <clears throat> Don't want to dust himself off. Alright, well, we're not going in that way. 
Who, who was looking at him? The goblin bruisers. Okay. Nice, 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 your face planted. Hey, listen, I didn't get shot, though. And she, she not, she uh, does a stu- she looks over to where the bruisers are looking at her. It's like, nice face plant, idiot. But did I die? Uh, you did not die, but you, you, no. you had a nice, like, your face looked really good. It feels really hot now. As if it's noon. It's high noon. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah. Sumi, Sumi says, Sumi, Sumi looks, oh, looked over to the um, bruisers that were now looking at them because uh, Burmont squeal. And then just goes, uh, and then, and then says the nice face plan. Sumi, when you look over at the goblin bruisers, the guy no, with she, the... She didn't, like, turn oh. to them. It was just a, like, a side eye kind of thing. Like I know you're looking at us. I heard you turn. I heard you. Well, the one that you still side eyed, the one that put the shades on, he finger guns you. Oh. She finger. She finger guns back at him. <laughs> and again, he gets hit by the other goblin. <laughs> the fuck, man. Sumi just la Sumi laughs. Sumi just laughs at laughs at, at the at him getting punched in the the some of the barmite. Like, come on, let's keep walking. Yeah, hi. Let's get out of here. Like if it, she lowers her voice. If anything, we can just buy it tomorrow and hope it'll be good. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Kenny, are you here or are you still AFK? No, I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna jump to Lorgren real quick. Uh, hi. you're waking up. It's noon. You must have been a really heavy sleeper. LOL. Uh, but yeah, you don't care. I don't care. Yeah, he's. You're up in your own room upstairs in the Winchester pub. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Zol's nearby in a room down the hall, but yeah, you're just kind of in a bed by yourself. Okay. Is there uh, anything you do? Get, up, get my armor on. Let, get my walking on done. Uh, strapped on. I've got like four weapons right now. You're like a little Terminator dwarf. I really am. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna come downstairs and find out where the others are because I'm sure they fucked up. <laughs> as yeah. as oh, you, you're definitely right. If you when you go downstairs, uh Lord Green, you're gonna see the bartender and uh he seems to be like at the other end of the counter and on top of the the counter bar thing uh there's a plate of what appears to be mystery meat that was frozen and looks very bloated and big and he doesn't seem to want to be near it <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise yeah. the pub's pretty empty so so describe this scene to me again all right, so so there is a plate on the bar that was served in the morning to Vermont that was mystery meat. So it looked like initially it looked like it was breathing, because it, it was just kind of like organy looking grossness, and uh, he froze it with a ray of frost. So it got bloated like it was breathing in or out or whatever and it got stuck in that position and the bartender who's a goblin is now standing on the other side of the counter like far away from it because he wants nothing to do with it because Vermont didn't eat it he prepared it and it's just sitting there I'm gonna take one look at that and just walk away <laughs> I, I... Morgan does not give a shit about that at all. Does not care. Even He's though you out. collected bug legs and kept nope. them as rations. No. Nope. There, there is <laughs> certain a line. There is certain things that he will do. That's crossing the line. You don't screw up meat like that. You no. don't order mystery meat. You don't, you don't do it. The, you don't order the mystery meat unless you, you want diarrhea. You don't do it. <laughs> Okay, so, so you're outside now? Wherever the hell Sumi and Vermont are, Sumi continues to question Vermont on why he ordered the mystery meat while this is Listen, happening. Listen, the mystery, the mystery is too, uh, Tyson for my number. We shouldn't have the conversation, this is Logan's time, but that's what's happening. 
I, I want nothing to do with it. He's just going to walk down. He's gonna take one look at it, shake his head, because he knows the gnomes did something. <laughs> it's always the gnomes. And then he's going to walk yeah, out. He knows it's to me in. No, okay. no, but he knows Vermont. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. It and actually then, was him, too. So he, he's going to take one look at it, shake his head, and go find Zool. Zola's still in the pub, FYI, I will see. Well, he's gonna go look for him. <laughs> okay. So Lorgren exits the premise looking for Zol. He probably checks his room first. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying he walked out. Well, he would walk out of the, the kitchen. He goes up to find Zol. So you went back he upstairs walked. after coming down? Yeah. Okay. Alright, go ahead and knock or whatever. So he's gonna knock on the door. You don't hear any weird sound. But, uh. <laughs> knock on his door. Zul replies, Who is it now? Logan. What do you want, dwarf? What's the plan? We have to wait for the portal. I believe we have two days. I'm hunkering down while the Kulterans are here. I suggest you do the same with how well Vermont was able to talk to them. Hmm. You mean not at all, right? Yes. And by the way, he's doing this behind the closed door. He hasn't opened it. They screwed up something downstairs, too. <laughs> <laughs> like what? There's meat. On a plate, and it's noted it has something to do with them. You know, he did something. I don't doubt it. Let them do their things. If they get in trouble, we'll figure something out. Or you can go out there and keep them in line. Oh, yes, because they listen to me. You have a big hammer, they'll listen to you more than anybody else. Or last time. That's because you didn't swing it. You told me not to! <laughs> <laughs> in any case, I'll be staying in here for the time being. Fine. And I guess he's gonna go back to his room. I don't know what else to do at this point. Okay. Alright, so we can bounce back to the gnomes, I suppose? No, 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 no. I just let, okay, so when that happened, by the way, I just imagine the fucking 1980s slash 19, like, 70, like, the old, the, 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 the yeah. fucking, the, the, like, two fight bones and Sumi's faces just showing up, getting, like, real big, and then, uh, zooming out. So, Gormonta is still looking for a place that sells materials. And then, uh, he looks at Sumi. Hey, do you think you can bum some off of the goblins? Like, working at the, uh, docks? Uh, maybe, but I don't want to take that risk. Yeah, let's, let's, listen. So, we can I'm alright, because I'm pretty sure whenever that, when that spell wears off in a couple hours, he's gonna fuck the piss. So we can either get the dwarf to knock down the door. Oh, you'll love the Logan. He's such a sweetheart. I don't believe you. But he, he's okay. He's a uh, dark iron, so he's he's a guy as friendly as the, all of them, except that he doesn't actually want to kill us. Oh my God! He definitely wants to kill me, though. Yeah, I was about to say he doesn't know me, so he has. To... I'm not. I'm not usually as much a troublemaker as you are. That's bullshit, and you know it. Anyways! You're really not wrong, but I'm more, stealth I'm more stealthy about it. Let's go fucking find a dwarf. Oh yeah, he's probably still in his room. So you guys are going back to the pub? Dwarves do like to stay in their homes. That's, that's kind of how they do. Yes, Gorlon's going back to the pub. Alright. Simi's just kind of, Simi's following him because she's got nothing better to do. You guys make Gorlon. it back to the pub. Gormont checks in on the fucking mystery meat. Has it grown <laughs> any larger? Uh, it looks like it's starting to breathe again, like the spell came off. 
Oh, no, fuck that. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna, we're gonna have what? to keep an eye on that sucker, cause that's... Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Bro, I'm out. Bro, I'm gonna cast some fucking, uh... Sumi, actually, no, wait, wait, Sumi stop, Sumi stop Sumi say, and use the detect magic on it. You, you're using detect magic on it? Yeah. On the music. Cause she doesn't trust what, what that, she doesn't know what it was. She was watched. She watched him prepare, and you said he. It looked like he was doing like some magic shit on it. Oh God, hold on. Um. All right, so you're detecting magic. You yep. you detect a faint magic. On uh, the mystery meat. Yeah. Get is is it detect magic? Am I able to determine like what kind of magic it is, or is it just? Yes. Okay. It's skullcraft. No, I'm assuming no, necromancy. No, Knowledge Arcana to uh, know the school, and then uh, Spellcraft to know the spell. I'll be willing to help you, Sumi, if you, uh, if you fail. Alright, Sumi, um, tells Burmont that she- tells Burmont what she's gonna do, and then- Alright. And then does Detect Magic, and should I roll Arcana? If you want. Okay. It doesn't matter to me, I mean, you're gonna know right. what it is. Okay, then she- then if I don't have to, then I won't. Yeah, no. it's just a spell, like, a breathing spell. All right. So, I would say it's, it's like arcane. I, I don't actually know what underwater breathing is, so I don't- it's, it's just a spell to make it look like it's breathing? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I don't trust oh, oh, it anyways. Hey, so there is that- so the, the guy did use magic on it, and it, made, it was like a, a breathing type spell. An underwater breathing kind of spell, so it looks like it's breathing. Cool, I'm still zapping that anyways. Vermont zaps it with Ray of Frost. God damn it, Khalil, leave that thing alone! I'm still unsure if it's alive or not, but, so, at, least, but, but at least if the spell is making it. Are you being more fierce with it this time? How are you addressing it this time with your spell? Uh, he, he, he cast dispassionately. Passionate? What, what? Dispassionate, like, it's like, oh, that's a fake. Kind of like how you'd squash a bug, you know? They don't okay. care. Okay, this time when you attack it, it explodes. Cool! Everything uh, goes all over the place, and it gets on you, and Sumi. Sumi, can Sumi jump behind to, to try you to get You can get- Yeah, sure, use Burmon as like the this. mystery meat shield. Do I have to roll for it, or can it just happen? Yeah, um, no, yeah go for it. it. No roll? No roll. No. Okay, so yeah, Sumi totally sees it. Uh, once Sumi notices it exploding, she jumps right behind Burma so he gets caked in it. And she, caked it. in it? I'm gonna fucking eat the eat it. No! Yes! <laughs> like, I, I'm not good at that shit on me. I, I don't even know how to describe what it tastes like. You just know it's meat, and it doesn't taste like meat, but it's meat. Has it ever been frozen before? I mean, it tastes like frozen burn because you fucking froze it twice. Oh, <laughs> licks is like, you know, when they say it's no, you know, any any place that says their beef is never frozen is bullshit. You froze their beef. I also have to check one more thing. Hold on. You froze it yourself. <laughs> I'm just kind of shrugs and gives a shit eating grin before going upstairs. Hang on a sec. Not yet. You're frozen in time. Oh, I'm as checking Kels, something. As Kells checks something, DM pot puts everything on pause. Yeah, I've I've never done this before, so give me a minute. Oh no. What is it? I'm you looking know? up diseases. Oh no. Cause you ate it after you yeah. froze it twice. Yeah. And you yeah. don't know what was in it. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna, I, I, he's gonna be in the bathroom. I, I don't even know what to fucking look at, Zach. Do I roll fortitude save? Well, you can do any. I mean, there's poisons and... Oh, man, I don't know. Zach, help me! Oh, no. Izzle. There's, like, all you're kinds. Really quiet, Izzle, you're really quiet. I'm looking. There he is. What? Where's- I'm looking for ingested, so... There's this one... Oh god. <laughs> uh, what's this one? <laughs> <laughs> what 
did you see? Oh no. <laughs> You're in danger. Mo uh, most of these things are like severe. I, I, you might just want to say he has bad diarrhea. That's Man. disgusting. I mean, he ate the mystery meat though. Oh, Sumi yeah. even said that's what was gonna happen. Oh yeah. What's this? So if anything, you may just want to say he's throwing up or has diarrhea. Did the cold not kill the uh, disease? No. Damn it. All right. It's okay. Heat. It's so. Heat you're thinking of. Goblins. A uh, goblin's eye just deals one con damage, and you're nauseated for a minute. How long does the con damage take? Uh, uh, b -b -b one minute. It's just okay. one minute. I'm just really feeling bad. <laughs> so is he gonna take the? Is he just gonna feel like shit, or is he gonna have the area? I'd say both. It's not gonna last mm. long. If I want fucking if that's the thing, then Bron's gonna wheeze and then sprint to the bathroom. Told you you could have a I told you you'd get diarrhea. She says that at she says oh, that at the shouting. <laughs> Lorgren yeah, and Sol hears she, that. Yeah, she says that louder than she should as for the bartender's not coming out of his room for and, that. And the bartender's <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sumi doesn't care. She, she doesn't have shame. That's what's fun about her. Logan, do you react? Vermont. Kenny. Mm hmm Do you react to the the chaos in the pub? They're they're doing something dumb. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> okay. Alright, go ahead, gnomes. Continue with your RP. No, we should venture! No, it's, it's so Vermont's running to the. Did Vermont respond to Sumi yelling? Is that across uh, the top? Let's... Suck a flat one, Sumi! <laughs> <laughs> Sumi just laughs as she. as like. as a. she just kinda sits there. She wasn't sure what. she wasn't sure. Uh, she, actually, no, I remember now. She, um, heads upstairs. Because she assumes that Zul and Logan, Logan probably overheard it. So once Bermont's done with his, uh, bathroom antics, he, uh, likes and, uh, joins the Uh, group. can you roll? Oh, what, no. What, what am I- what Just am I roll rolling? 1d20. Oh, no. <laughs> no. When you're sitting on the john and your toilet paper's gone. Let's see, hold on, hold on, let me look at my, uh... I'm hoping you could fail. <laughs> be a man. And use your head. What? That's <laughs> disgusting! Uh, roll! You're killing me. Just roll, Beans. It's a street. I, I'm looking at my fucking spells. Just... <laughs> Why are you looking <laughs> at spells? Roll. Oh, he's checking if anything can save him. Oh. Uh, you have just enough toilet paper to wipe your little hiney. Though it's very uh, nuclear, it's almost like the Nomergon irrigation <laughs> <laughs> toilet. It's disgusting. Ah, uh, let's see. Hold on. Who, who uh, who is the who who is the, the bad guy in the Nomergon uh, dungeon? There's several. There's like the Mechator? not Mech. No. Um. Oh man, I don't know. I got it. I don't fucking know what. Uh, there you go. There you go. That's really it's Mechanir Thermoplug, yeah. Yeah, Bermont shouts. Uh, I look for the co How far away is the closest piece of to is the closest roll of toilet paper? Uh, I'd say like 10 feet. Okay, cool. Mage hand. Oh my god. Whew. That's so gross. <laughs> So Sumi went upstairs, by the way, to see if Zul and Lorgren were curious in the fact that Vermont wanted to talk to them and anyway, to Lorgren anyway. Vermont wipes happily, uh, and leaves. So did Zul say he came out of his room for that? Uh, no. No, I thought, I thought, you, I thought you said he out for that. No, 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 no. He, he understands that you guys are probably up to no good, and he doesn't want to get involved because he doesn't. He wants to keep his head. That's fair. 
So, so don't launch, uh... Oh, Zubi has no idea what true order is in and has no reason to talk to Zul, so she just waits. Cormont walks up to Sumi. Ah, alright. I feel, uh, I feel empty inside. In more ways See? than one. Ed Anyways, we should probably talk to the orc. And then the, the door. Alright. Uh, you know them better Bro than I, so I figure you should be here. Cormont, uh, eagerly knocks on, uh, Zul's door. What do you want, no? Hi! Hi, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is an update, so we might have a way to get ourselves out of here quicker. <laughs> Can I ask something before Soul responds? Go Please on. tell me Vermont washed his fucking hands. Fuck yes he did, of course okay. he did. Okay, okay, continue. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Does he actually ask that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we got a bit of shitty situation. Don't worry, got it. We're fine now. Uh, as soon as you say a way out, uh, Zul opens the door. All right. And... So we uh, we found an old teleporter that we can probably use. Uh, it's broken though, and but we have an engineer on it, and uh, we can fix it if we have the parts and a wrench or a scanner and a your... schematic. And schematics, yes. Where can we get all of those? So, yeah, here's the thing. First and foremost, I located an engineer's workshop. One, it's unmanned. Two, the goblins are working with the... Don't have this. Gar Garmonta kind of just looks down and just looks back at... Uh, so... S we, I... Sense motive. Try and bluff, boy. God damn it. Alright, let's go. Want me to bluff? Aksumi will help you. Uh, How does helping work, by the way? I have no uh, idea. You can't, I, you can't help with a bluff check. Oh, I can't? Oh, I'm only gonna get fucked. Fuck. What the oh, hell? Ah! Yes! Get on. Alright, he chalks it up to normal gnomus antics and just says, Right, so how do we get all these supplies? Um, Steal them? Well, we could. Um, we could also try to. They seem to. Be, these goblins seem to be very friendly towards Horde people. You know, probably due to their sh their shared uh, heritage during the Second War, and the fact that the Grove Water Cartel actually works for Horde. Um, so you could either buy them, off of them for us, or we can break into an engineer's workshop. That is fine. I'll buy them. I'd rather not break the law while we're here. Yeah, I'd rather Did you see any Colterans? Uh, no, actually, I didn't see any. Yeah, we... Did we see any? Did we uh, see yeah, any? Actually, you guys... When you guys went around to see Satla the first time, you didn't, but then, as you went over and learned about the supply route, Colterans did enter the south part of the city. Yeah. They were really in the south part of the city. You don't know this. They, oh, they, no. they, we saw them around. We saw them in the south part, but that was a while ago. Then stick by me. Gotcha. Okay. We should probably go meet the dwarf too. We could use his muscle. I believe he's on a mission for his queen. That should pull some weight with the gold <laughs> 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 Oh I like I'm that. I'm glad you think so. I don't care. <laughs> I just want one in the fucking. Never mind, actually. You Never think mind. I don't care? They really don't care. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. You they, have they just they they look at you with distaste and say, I don't care. If you if you haven't played through the Cult Tyrion part yet. Zul I, I have played. Zul doesn't know Cult Tyrions, just that they hate <laughs> that they hate or orcs. That's it. So he, he doesn't know anything about the Cult Tyrions. Yeah. They they don't like uh, Dark Irons all that much either. Yeah. But Zumi know that? Nope. No, no, you would. Probably. Actually, Sumi might know that. She, no, she, it's history. Uh, yeah. Sumi might know that. She Anyways. was around when we're going to Nine Forge a lot. So, Gromart goes looking for a uh, Lorgren. No, in... If anything, Vermont may know that too. Gromart uh, tries to find Lorgren's room and knock on. He's gonna ignore it. Okay, well, this is happening. See me. Stop. Don't want, don't want to go, go find that, that uh, blacksmith's hammer again. God damn it. 
Hey, Lograt, if you're in there, I recommend opening up. He's going to get a hammer. It's important, Lograt. <sighs> hey, Vermont, wait, he's in here. Vermont, Vermont's taking deliberately slow and, like, enunciated steps before he turns and walks back. What do you want? So I might have found a way out of here, but uh, you can That's need to quicker. support us. Yeah. What does it involve? It involves getting a t either helping our d our orc friend get a buy supplies from possibly ho uh, goblins that might like to hold better than they like me, or uh, or, or breaking into a go engineer's workshop. We prefer buying. Likewise. If Everybody else, likes him more than you. Hey, hey, fuck off. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But the, but the Colterians are also still around the area, so... My bait, we, we, we need to stick by it, because they're, they're, uh... They're Colterians. They don't like anybody. They don't, they're really ugly. It's, it's, they're re you're not wrong, but even so. Sending him, him alone, it would not do that. Having an alliance presence would probably make them think twice. Especially alliance representatives. <laughs> you did hear the motherfucker there, right? <laughs> He'll open the door. He's already strapped to the, to the guild with weapons. So, uh, you open the door and you see, uh, now for the first time that Zul is covered head to toe. You can't see his face, you can't see any part of his body. And, in fact, now that you look closer, he has a weird hump in his back. Oh, this is really concerning. Very dangerous. He must have ate mystery meat, you think. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's not new. Alright. We head out. The team is reunited again. As you guys all descend down the stairs, you see the poor bartender cleaning up the mess made by Vermont. Vermont pointedly ignores this. You feel guilty inside. Oh. <laughs> oh. You are good, so. Yeah. God damn it. So we just, so we just laugh, so we giggles. At Vermont, at Vermont's uh, feeling guilt because she had nothing to do with it. <laughs> she, that's not a lie this time. So you guys all at, exit the building, right? Yep. Uh, when you guys all exit. Tiz, who's been kind of in the city the whole time, she kind of approaches you guys. Hey! You guys want to participate in a contest? What kind of contest? Uh, well, the auctioneer here is, uh, doing a shredder contest, like, to repair goblin shredders. If any of you guys know how to, like, fix machines. Oh. Yeah, it still starts leaving. <laughs> she sort of, her ears droop. But if but you what, win, you could get a shredder. A shredder could be useful. I don't you know. know. Uh, I'm not an engineer. I don't know how. Maybe you should ask your wife. That's true. She'd probably be better. I she probably be. would be, yes. I, she, says, she does it as a profession. I only do it kind of casually. Um, does it come with a... T do they offer a tool set to use? Uh, I don't know. I just know that you had to go in pairs of two, and the first person team, excuse me, to repair a shredder wins. My guess is you get to keep the whole shredder and its parts, so it might have something. Hmm, actually that could be useful. There you go. How much, what's your thing, what, what's your um, knowledge on engineering? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah, you're better than me. Okay, Vermont, you should you should enter with your with your wife. Fuck yeah. Do it. So, Alright, Vermont's going to uh say Cause my cause my lack of cause my knowledge is severely limited in this universe for some reason. Let's see, that, he, was he, he, that was out of character. You're right, I figured. You chose another path, Vermont says. Vermont says this absolutely emotionlessly, looking over at some staring depths of her soul. Before looking away, and then resuming his usual Vermontness. Vermont, stop being weird. 
Does Lorgan or Zol say anything, or...? Where's the shop? Zumi, uh, points out the shop, and, uh, looks to Bar- Zumi points out where the shop is. It's like, I'll show ya! And then, uh, looks to Vermont, and is like, Go get your wife and enter that! Can do! Useful. And then Sumi, uh, starts leading, I assume, Zul and Lorgan to where the shop is. Shop over there. Okay. Uh, when I get there, what do I see? You you see uh, scorch marks from where the laser tried to hit. I think it was Sumi. I tried to gone. hit Sumi. Tried to hit uh, Burma. Yeah, there's some scorch marks. There, there's what looks to be a very locked door. And yeah, it it, it looks like there's no hey. other entrance. People. Uh, you just have the bruisers over here. One wearing the shades, one not, and then you had those two. The one with the one I'm gonna let you know I may or may not have charmed the one with the shades on. So right now he's my friend. When the spell wears off, I have no idea how that's gonna go. Understood. He he's just gonna walk up to the two goblins and just says, "Who's the owner of the shop?" Which ones? Uh, the two bruisers. On the right or left? Uh, it loud enough for both of them to hear it. So. Okay. Uh, Shades Boy is gonna turn and respond to you and be like, uh, the owner of the shop is somewhere over here. I don't know where he is. What's his name, by any chance? Uh, his name is... Fry Tots. Fry Tots, gotcha. And he looked in the direction they came in. And he's just going to march... Uh, did he point inside the camp that they're guarding, or...? Uh, so... Oh, sorry. Uh, where's my thingy, my ruler? Okay, so, out here, even though I don't have it on the map, there's a big supply route. Like, a bunch of goblins are pushing boxes here. Okay. Um, but you don't know which one it is at all, either. Like, the goblin bruisers don't even know which guy to point out because they're all goblins. They're all here and they're all doing something sweaty. Alright, then. Uh, yeah, I'm just are we supposed to be looking at? I'm still looking at the picture. What? We yeah, we're, we're still on the uh, blades. Yeah, we're still looking oh, at the blades. Oh no, I didn't realize this the whole time. Here you That's go. Moving our things. Okay, yep. yeah. Okay, so let me try that again. Shop was here. Bruisers are here, uh, and the supply route is here. Okay. So there's All a right. bunch of uh, goblins there, even though you don't see them. Duel is going to uh, go out and uh, make a perception check to find the taskmaster. Uh. This one's the engineering shop. This one. Sumi's just gonna wait nearby that, and literally just kind of wait nearby. She's not going near that camp. Okay. Because she has no reason. To. Um, Zach, Zul doesn't really identify a taskmaster. They're just all working. They're all working? Yeah. Nobody's, like, pointing and giving no. instructions? No. Uh, then he's just going to go in the line and just shout, where is, what was his name again? Fry Tots. Where's Fry Tots? One of the goblins, uh, that was, like, lifting a box just lets it drop in the sand. Like, stands up straight and looks over at Zol. Uh, he's doing the Shredder contest. Point me towards it. It's, it's back. It's uh, back. it's that way. <laughs> Points all the way over there. Alright, he's going that way. Is anyone else going with Zol? Uh, I assume he's just gonna follow him. Lorgren's following him. Vermont? Vermont's already, uh, Vermont's already kind, there. It's convincing Satwa to go. Uh, oh, give me a second. Run? Yeah, Vermont's not with us anymore. Yeah, give me a second for the Satla thing before I transition oh. the group. So, okay, so, Vermont, Satla oh. is here between two Kul'tirian guards, FYI. Oh. Uh, she doesn't look easily approachable because of these guards. They seem to be very, uh, you know, imposing. Is he saying that to all of them, or...? Yeah. Uh, he's gonna go to the closest south one. Hiya! Back off, Gnome. We're interrogating this one. 
Uh, Belmont folds his hands behind his back. Uh, what charges have me? I can get sick. It's none of your business. Back off. I think it is. Belmont, uh, he's gonna try to diplomacy. Alright. I think unfriendly is what yeah. it is right now. Yeah, they're very unfriendly. The hostile is attacked. I'm spending a hero point to uh, roll that. Uh. Hold on. Yeah, I'm I'm spending a hero point to re roll that. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, you definitely make Hold on. So, what are you trying to do exactly? Uh, I'm trying to diplomacy him to get a uh, to get a better answer of what's going on. And <clears throat> it has to meet what, Zach? Unfriendly twenty. He he, he got it. Meet that twenty. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, even even hostile, it has to meet his. Uh, so let's see. So when when someone hostile is attacking, so you really don't need to yeah. worry. Uh, it's unfriendly is twenty plus the creature's charisma. Twenty plus the creature's charisma. Modifier. Unless uh, he has a plus ten charisma modifier, yeah. which would be incredible. No, he doesn't. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah, he not twenty did so. Okay, so anyway, like, what kind of reaction am I supposed to supply here? Uh, you're supposed to let his guard down, give, uh, it's your choice whether or not he gives up more information, but he's no longer hostile and now, or unfriendly, and now is indifferent, I believe. Okay, so, Khalil, what, what did Vermont do again, exactly? He's trying to ask her what's, what seems to be the issue with her and sat with, what sort of information? There's no issue with the gnome here. We just want to talk to her. Uh, about what? A uh, situation that came up. Maybe I can be a service. Uh, the other guard's gonna look over at Burma, and it's the guard that you walked out to the desert. And uh, he's just like shaking his head to the other guy. Like, as in, we don't want to talk to you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Out one scroll oh, no. Well, <laughs> listen, listen, I don't think she knows any more than I would. After all, I do know this gnome. Sal has been, Sal is an engineer here. Relaxing, doing some engineering. Yeah, we on think the things. ones that are working on devices have more credibility than those that just appear randomly in the sand. Listen, and... I'll, I'll have you know, I'm a man of the military. Yeah, now... the one that you walked out into the sand is starting to draw his blade. Mm, well... Listen, listen, I think we, I think we can make a, uh, we, we can be civil. So, let's just gonna look over at Vermont and be like, don't don't antagonize them anymore, honey. I'll be all right. Just find me the tools. Bernard just kind of pauses. He's like, I kind of want you to 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 help come with me and help. Listen, how long is this? Come on, this this isn't gonna take long, right, guy? He looks at his much friendlier guards, man. Just. Let us get through our uh, questions, and then you can spend time with your wife. You're gonna keep her. You're gonna keep an eye on her, right? You're gonna keep her safe. Yeah. I'm holding you to that. But I'm just kind of like it's gonna just like friendly pat him. He give you a reassuring smile, to and then he's going to resist the urge to cast scorching ray. <laughs> All right. The much less friendly cousin of uh, Ray of Frost. Okay. Alright, Grant's gonna go search for the tools. Alright, so are you guys now all going together outside of town? To the contest. Yeah. Are you going that way, Vermont? Like, do you wanna... Uh, yeah. So, Grant actually is gonna tell Sala, like, if everything, like, blows over to meet him out of town. Okay. She has received the message, but she has not arrived. So, you guys go out of town. This is what you see. So can I get, like, out-of-character background on the Volturians? Okay, what? Like, I, why they're fucking hostile? 
So it's a knowledge history. No, like her play, like her, uh, assuming the player. No, the like, player, not her. I'm oh. Assuming, I'm assuming. She doesn't know why these these yeah, uh cultures know. are being dickheads. So you're asking yeah. out of characterly why they're mad? Yes. Yeah. They because. Hate the well, yeah, they're. Excuse you, Zach. Sorry. I was gonna say yeah, you know, general history applies, but there's also the fact that. One of their own is missing, and they know about it. Okay. But uh, basically, after Jaina stood aside and then the Alliance did nothing, the Coltierans hate uh, the Alliance and everybody in it. Fair enough. Okay. So yeah, you, you guys see Fry Tots out there and two broken looking shredders. So, uh, what was his name again? It's really silly. I'm sorry. It's oh, on his cross. name. Right, I... You can't see it. What? You can't, you can't see, see it. Yeah. You have to give us control over it. To see it? Yes. There. It's really annoying, and it's a dumb thing, but that's what it is. Kratos! <laughs> ah! Some, uh, players coming out here? Customer, I need something quickly. Customer? Alright, what, what can I do for you? He rubs his hands together. What did you need? He looked over at, uh, uh, Vermont. Teleporter schematics, yeah. Teleporter schematics, some carts, and, uh, go on, list out the carts, because they probably, they're probably specific. But, she uh, just said an engineer toolkit. An engineer toolkit and a spanner. Hmm. Well, I think I have a teleporter schematics back at the auction house. It's worth about 15,000 gold. Uh, and the toolkit? I think there's an engineering town shop somewhere you can ask them. Spanner, spanner. He's gonna go look at one of the shredders and peer in the cockpit, and he's gonna pull out a spanner. Five gold. So tosses him five gold, gets the spanner. <laughs> he tosses the spanner to you. Thanks, bud. Uh, and then Zul's so going to turn around and look over at the Vermont Summy and the uh, Sumi, sorry, and Lager. Uh, uh, and just say a thousand five hundred gold. You want to pile it together? Is it a thousand five hundred or oh, it's fifteen hundred? Okay, never mind. Is it fifteen hundred or? 15,000. 15,000. Oh. 15,000. Okay. Yeah. He looks at uh, everybody else after we get a certain amount away and just says, So we're going to steal it. <laughs> so it's either that or we sell the shredder. Correct, you. You owe. 15,000? Mm hmm. How much did we get from the last haul? You guys got a ton of gold, so I'm kind of like sitting here yeah, like, really? I'm, I'm wondering I why. I don't have that much. I have no idea what the town is. Look at the we loot have, in Discord. We, have a lot we had like 60,000. I didn't spend that much of it. Yeah. So All right. Yeah, you guys, you guys have it. So I do not. I have 1,500. Yeah. I know Sumi doesn't, but those nubs. You guys are being fucking cheap. Oh, no, yeah. no. All right. 5,000 each. Come on. Top it up. All right. Yeah, that's right. That's not much at all. I I don't know why I was thinking that. So oh, the yeah. auctioneer's still standing there, kind of watching you guys huddle up together. We cough up the gold. Yep. You're gonna give him fifteen thousand straight? Yeah. Oh my not. god, wait, he. Guys, guys, wait, 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 wait. Oh. You do you have the schematics right now? I told you they're at the auction house. Hey, you wanna go back to the? Oh, auction I thought house? you said. I yeah. thought you said that but you he's... were at the auctioneer. Well, he's right there in front of you, but the auction house is back in ah, town. Yeah. So right. we're gonna go do that. But you yeah. need the auctioneer to get to the auction house, so. Yeah. What? We, they have the money. Yeah. They just. It, it, he's the head of the shop, and since everybody's out of town doing their thing, you might wanna. Yeah. I'm just saying this, oh, silly. Don't yeah, you fucking no. steal it. <laughs> So, Listen, we need the schematic. You're about to get a lot of money. Can you walk back? 
Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. He, he's moving with you guys. Let's go. Alright, but I'm not gonna stop it. How much do right. you guys have in your body? Your body is away. We have like 40, 40 to 60, depending on how much everybody spent. I do not no, spend Sumi, Sumi doesn't have that anywhere close to that. Yeah, we got a lot of money last session. Lord, <laughs> Lord you guys are, it's all you guys. Lord Green's at 87,000. What? Well, how much did you spend? None. Yeah, I that's spent much of anything. Oh, yeah. Shit. So, he can cover it himself, but he's not going to. Yeah, we all split it up. Alright, so the auctioneer's gonna go down into the auction house. And it's gonna take him a couple minutes. Uh, and, uh, hang on, let me do some more stuff. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna need weapons for a while. I've got four, three magical weapons and a masterwork greatsword on my back, so. Alright, so he comes out. Uh, you guys do notice an increase of cold tier and presence, uh, everywhere. Um, and he comes out with the schematics and hands it over to you guys. Thanks for your business. This is wonderful. Yes, yes. Well, now, where's that shop you mentioned? What? I'm sorry? Where's that shop you mentioned? Uh, it's over there, bud. He's gonna point <laughs> to, you know, where you guys were with the laser thing. Oh, wait. The locked place? Yep. Yeah. I thought he was the owner of that shop. He's not. He, what I... Yeah, the the bruiser told you that, but he doesn't actually know who the owner is. Oh, so we just got lied to by the fucking... The right, bruiser well... just answered what he thought was the owner. The auctioneer doesn't actually own the engineering shop. Hey, hey do you know who owns that shop? Who, are you asking Fratots? The auctioneer, yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe it's, uh, Izzy. Yeah, Izzy, I think is his name. Oh, gosh. Izzy, is that that <laughs> rogue... Yeah, the rogue one, who you can never okay. seem to find. You know where he is right now? Uh, I don't actually know. I, I know that he was working on some business for some friends. Something about a portal with a mage. I don't think he's around. Cool. Alright, well, that sounds great. Well, Alright, thank you. So, uh... I regret taking our natural lust now. Because <laughs> I could have used that skull sock to use it. To use fucking invisibility. I think I might have vanish actually. Uh, let me see. No, oh, I did for the I can Fuck it. Um, I also at this point I'm casting a uh, what you call it? Um, bloody no, fucking no. mage armor. How long oh. has it been since the original sin song for me? Uh, you casted mage armor after you got lasered, right? Yeah. I'd say like it's it was like around noon. Yeah. And it's probably like three o'clock now in the afternoon. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm still, I got three hours. Uh-huh. Um, so what are you guys doing now? Um, is his wife, is, can we, um, did we note, did we pass, uh, Burmont's wife on the way in? Uh, she's right over here. Oh my god, yeah. my son Did ruler. we see her still getting interrogated? She's still standing by the cold here, and it looks like they kind of stopped talking to her. They're just standing near her, though. Hi! And Vermont, oh. Sumi would have nodded to Vermont. So, oh, keeps watching? Uh, keeps walking? <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. getting involved? <laughs> okay, um... Sumi stands nearby Vermont, I assume. Hey, uh, Vermont, says Sala. Hey, we got you, uh, mind coming here with us? Uh, where are we going? We're getting... We're getting... We're, we're heading back to the pub. Uh, oh, are you getting pub. me dinner? So sweet of you, honey. I'm hungry. First and foremost, I actually got you a gift. Uh, Zul, did you give uh, I want the scanner? No, no. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> so, so, so our very dear uh, large friend has the scanner and... She already walked away. She's hungry. Oh, <laughs> Zoey just, just shakes her head at Burma. Zoey Ring didn't die for this, by the way. Alright, let's... let's so, go. we all re-entered the pub. It's cleaned. Uh, there's nobody in here again. It's just the bartender. And, uh, he lifts his head up, and upon seeing Burma, he says, 
We're sold out of mystery meat, buddy. That's how I find him being in buddy, boy. But yeah. Hold uh, your Vermont. Never order the mystery meat. Sotla looks at Vermont expectantly. What do you want to eat for dinner, dog? Hmm. Hey, hey, Surprise me, but not with mystery meat. Hey, Vermont, weren't you, weren't you guys gonna enter the contest? Hey, you wanna enter this uh, contest after this Shredder competition one done? What? What is it? Yeah, there's a competition to build a Shredder. It's it sounds Should really repair. cool. Repair. Repair. Whatever. She uh scratches beneath her chin, and she's like, "Well, I know I could do that pretty easily, but..." I really want to fix that teleporter. I mean, I do too, but uh... If I don't do work on it while we have daylight, I'm not gonna get it fixed by tonight. Assuming I get the parts. So, actually, right now we have the scanner and the, the uh, schematics. So it gives it over. Oh! Thank you, thank you, tall one! I'm thinking that if we can get these the shredder, we can di take a, take out some of its parts and uh, use it for uh, your teleporter. She opens the schematics up like she kind of got ingrained into it, and she lifts her head up over the schematics and looks at Vermont, and she's like, "Why don't you just get the parts?" Where, where can I get these parts from? Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, our only engineering shop in town is kind of closed. But you just said you had a shredder. We can, once we once we win the shredder from this competition, we could totally. Did you try it. buying the shredder? I don't want. Honey. The Winning the competition is a little better than buying the shredder. It's cheaper too. <laughs> She's just That's gonna good. look over at the orc and then back at Sumi. Well, you guys are full of incompetence. Why don't you do the contest? I don't Actually, think you know what that word means. <laughs> You're the one with the competence, so you should totally help us do it. Well, I'm working on the teleporter. <laughs> you can't work on the teleporter when you don't have the parts. Exactly. I have the right. schematics and a spanner. That gets me somewhere. Schematics and a spanner. What are you the... going to build with it? We have the Bro, get get the rest of the here. Bro, Bro, let's get a diplomacy here. Let's go. Well, oh, jeez. Are you sure? Why are you doing this to your wife? It's friendly, so it's very <laughs> low. Yeah. Did you roll it? I did. I got oh. 20, God damn it, you piece of shit. She's just gonna sigh heavily. Vermont, sometimes you really disappoint me. Fine. That's what my mother said. She just <laughs> whacks him with the Arcanite spanner. And then meanders out of the shop. Pub, whatever. Yes. Yeah, I was totally a yes. Okay. That's uh, that's a woman for yes. <laughs> Throughout this entire rude. thing, mm -hmm. that was Marjorie rude. is going to have walked off because he cannot deal with this level of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sumi, Sumi smacks and slaps, and Sumi smacks Vermont upside the head. Just, just good. So it's like Fucking work. Yip slaps. Oh, God, so as that Vermont walks out, he shouts, Lurgren, meet Sumi! She's our new gnome! I don't care! There it is. Yeah. Does he say that? He sounds, sounds like he says that a lot. He does. It's almost meme worthy. What's up, Uh, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk about when you're older. Zolt <laughs> oh, okay, was about okay. to say that. <laughs> uh, so, as you guys exit the pub, the. The atmosphere of Gadgetzan has suddenly greatly changed. Uh -oh. um, so while you guys went in the pub, there was a, a kerskuffle of sorts over uh God damn it, that's not the ruler. Where the fuck's the ruler? Over here. Uh Kulturian guard here. Uh hey, happened. I like the ruler. Hush. So <laughs> the Kulturian guard over here uh happened to notice said operation here. And, uh, they're starting to attack the goblins. So, wow. Kul are now starting to converge on that point. And that even, so, even the so bruises are coming out. So, looks at everything that was happening, and just looks at 
at the group and just says, Now's the time to steal the parts. Yeah, let's go. Not wrong. <laughs> should we get Lord? Should we get Lord? We are... We are not helping with this scuffle. Oh no, not at all. Yeah. Sumi so, so like, so looks at the other two and like, Should we get Lorgren? We Probably be yes. helpful. I think so, we in case the Kul'tirans see me. Oh, hey, Satra, actually go back to the, uh, go back to the inn. Well, oh, now you're telling me go back to eat? Yeah, go back to the fucking, please. Go back, go back, go back, go back. She goes back in. Yeah, Goron doesn't want her anywhere near this scuffle. Alright, All right. uh, so, Logren come out? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so we'll go get Logren. Yeah, probably the best one to go get him. Now, he just walks up to Logren and just says, Now's the time to get the parts. I believe we have an exit plan for tonight if we do this correctly. But I'm probably going to need your help. Oh, really? Yes. What exactly do you need me to Cold Tyrans are attacking the city guards. If they see me, I have no doubt they will attack me as well. Sounds like a personal problem. If you want to use the teleporter, I sincerely hope you'll help. You do realize. Well, never mind. We'll keep you, you safe, Bork. He nods, and just says, Good. I would want you to not fulfill your promise to that kind goblin. Well, we need to get the pots, so how are we doing this? We can slip into the shop while everybody's busy fighting. I believe as long as I can find a window, I can summon a creature inside that can unlock the door. Don't make it a dolphin. <laughs> dolphin. <laughs> Dolphins don't have hands. <laughs> well, let's go take a look. The faster we get this done, while we have a distraction, the easier. He nods. Alright, so we're gonna uh, come out and head towards the shop, uh, trying to avoid any cult Uh For the most part, they seem to be quite engrossed in their combat. Uh, yeah. And you see Tiz out there. She's wanting to heal her bruiser friends. So, uh, you can tell she's greatly distressed, though. That's fine. What? Uh, That's not <laughs> fine! <laughs> it's, it's Zul book. It's fine. Zul's a dick. Uh, does anybody else do anything? Uh, Sumi really doesn't care. Yeah, Grant doesn't uh, have an urge to, uh... Black Logram wants to, but there's not much he can do if he, if he has to watch. Make sure the orc doesn't get hurt. Though he might shout. I mean, is there any Kul'tirans hmm? around him? Around her? Yeah, there are two. And they're attacking her, or? They're attacking the bruisers right now, but she's behind them, kind of in a vulnerable spot if they turn around. But she's just trying to make sure these two bruisers don't die. It... Zul... Zul just keeps on going. He doesn't do anything. Zul but... Just keeps on going. Zul yeah. Going. Okay. So, uh, we scuttle along. So, yeah, where are you guys going? How are you approaching the shop? Because it's quite busy out front of the shop, and... Uh, you know... Where is the shop? R right in the top right? It's right... there. Well, <laughs> that L. <Right> <laughs> oh. Right I didn't mean there. to draw on there, but All yeah. Alright, in the middle of everything. Um... Yeah. Which shop are we going to again? The one behind all of that. Um, so... <laughs> You're not serious, are you? I am. Um, go around the city. There's a way out back. What did he, what did he say? Sorry, go go around. around the city. There's a way in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna move Hi. you guys. Hi. Oh, hi. Ah. So yeah, oh, the shop's oh. over here, but you can't see all the people, but they're all 
here. I'll um, actually just move them. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> the auctioneer is carrying in town. They're in the city. Says. Yeah, all the all the culture and and bruises are in the city. In Sorry. The city. Okay. So the uh, yeah, they're yeah, all fighting. Yeah. Uh, where is it? This is such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're so wrong. So, uh, uh, I think we're what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and just hop over. Y you can hop with your hump back. <laughs> yes, I can hop. I still have I legs. Recall, if I recall, looking at the map, that hill, like you can actually just like climb up yeah. the wall. With yep. no you can. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are gonna climb that hill and go over the fence thing, wall, whatever. Uh, and do I see a window? It's really small. There's a really small window, but I can see inside. Yeah. You okay. can't uh, like see well, but you can see inside. It's okay. like dark. Um, let's see. <laughs> so, what I. I'm... She says to the so he says to the quick. By the way, we did attempt to pick the lock and there is security there, so there's probably some security inside. There may be, but I imagine most of the security guards are outside. Oh, probably. Just hope I'm just hoping the noise that the security isn't too loud. I'm sure the sound of battle will drown that out. Uh and let's see, summon monster What can I do? Pathfinder. Uh, and something with opposable thumb. Something. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Um, Can you summon a monkey? Uh. Or a fire officer. A pony, a poisonous frog, a fire beetle, an eagle. I think an eagle would work. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, no. Uh, it, 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 yeah, uh, I'm going to summon monster through the window uh, in the spot I can see. I'm going to summon an eagle and tell him to unlock all the windows and doors. So you're summoning a burb? Okay. Yes, I'm summoning a burb. Uh, I don't have a burb, so you're going to get a proto dragon. That's uh, uh, that. yeah. So, uh, Zul summoned a proto dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I also like how Vermont is too good for the individual squares and has to be on the corners. Okay, exactly. there's your burb. Uh, Alright. Burb uh, inside the building. Okay, it goes inside the building. Uh, question though. Uh, how, how heavy can it pick up things? <laughs> well, it's... It's... What do you mean? He's just unlocking the windows and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. He's not carrying stuff out. He's just unlocking everything so everybody can get in. Okay. Uh, the burb is able to find the locked areas. All right. And he just goes floop and uses his talon to pick it open, just like undo un the last. The right? Sorry, say that again. Locked. He leaves the doors uh, locked, right? Yeah, I think so. Unless there's a back door. Yeah, that's a back no back door. Okay. <laughs> Kalos has strict rules about back doors. Oh um, god. So yeah, he uh, opens, unlocks all the windows that he can. Verb is successful unlocking the tiny windows. Okay. Uh, so Zul will just point to the windows and the tiny. You said tiny windows, right? I did say tiny windows. Gnome size. He just he stares at Vermont and Sumi, waiting for them. Yeah, this, is de that... this is degrading. Vermont has it. Vermont has it just wanders. This is normal. What are you yeah, talking no, this about? Is totally normal. Listen, I, listen, as as an as an ethnic minority, I get free reign to make racial jokes about myself and to to play the victim. No, you don't. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. But uh, I like can we can. Vermont and Sumi reach the windows on their own without just standing on each other? Uh... I would say that it's pretty low, yeah. Okay, so they can. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, then they... I get. I have a Sumi. We make our way there. Yep. 
So Get your corner ass over here. Get your corner and hold the ass over here, Vermont. No. <laughs> okay. So you guys are entering the locked shop? Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, so... Not, like, Sumi doesn't go in, like, super quick. She, like... Goes so are you, like, looking, or what? Yeah, she looks around. First. Give me a perception a check. Is that a dragon in the... in another room? What? No, it's a bird. No, that's my bird. It's a bird. No, there's a... Look, look in the house. Oh, yeah, when the I took right. the screenshot, someone was oh. sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. I was just like, fuck it. Maybe nobody will notice it. Can there actually, I live. Can there actually just be a fucking dragon sitting on someone else? Someone I mean, if Absolutely you not. want, but there's a basilisk there, too. I mean, <laughs> only so much oh. I could do. Alright, let's do this perception. You, you want to look at this Harbinger, no, Drake? I, I don't. Looking at the inside of the face, uh, what's my perception? So, was that your perception roll, Khalil? That was my perception roll. I don't... You don't you quite know what you're looking at. It looks like a bunch of engineering shit and tables. There it is. You got distracted by your belly button. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Bye, then, howdy. <laughs> hey, look, this is proof that I wasn't grown in the lab. Oh my god. Oh, you can, you can guys also. A, can I take a 10 on this? Taking a walk to look. You through? can't. I don't think you can no. do that for perception. I'm not what? sure. Soon, no, what you... I'm not gonna permit it. Soon, do me a favor and. I cut out, so I have no idea what you guys said. Soon, use, use a hero coin. For the love okay. of God, please use a hero I'm coin. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, reroll. Watch a reroll of one. Sad. That has happened before. Oh, okay. well, All right. you, you're able to identify some things, but you don't quite see a toolkit yet. Alright. Is yeah. there any, does she see any, like, security or anything, like, dangerous? Uh, well, I mean, you don't see anything, no. Alright. I mean, as long as you don't trigger anything, it should be fine. <laughs> trigger me timbers. So, so who? Oh, uh, you want to go first? You hear a lot of blades clashing outside. Yeah. Uh, can I try again? To what? Perception? To look for the thing. Yeah. Yes. Pleb. Right, let's go. You're so bad at this. You find one more time a lint roll. Go for. Okay, this is the last time. Yep. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. But... Well, okay. Yeah, it may not be, but hopefully. Jesus. Wow, you guys are terrible. So, <laughs> let me just me say, this is a again. while. The Three. bird, the bird is just sitting there. Just okay, Vermont, just, Vermont, all just of go. You. No, we can't find it. So just go, go inside and look. Does Zol okay. have like eagle eyes? He likes seeing this too, because I feel like that would Zol be hilarious. Zol's eyes and yeah, no, he he he's seeing like I guess like parts flying in the building, like as they're looking for stuff. You know how in a cartoon uh, they're like at a junk pile. I'm not sure if they would. Oh, no, they're we're not in. in. We're in. No. Uh, we yeah. Were, are, we, you... are we not looking? Okay. So we go outside. Look, it was outside of it. But... Hey, look, a new, a new uh, medic face plunger. I always wanted one of these. I moved to the bird Focus. back. Focus. Lord Green, Lord Green hears Zul sigh and said, "They're fucking it up again, aren't they?" Almost certainly. Hey, Lord Green, can you do a perception roll for me? Oh God. <laughs> Rolling that 20. It's, a, it's never good when your DM asks that. Why? <laughs> and from behind, you, your head snaps and you catch sight of the fucking toolkit. Okay, goody. I like when you have good perception. So, Lorgren, you want to go over here. You, you feel like you sense something in this direction. Like you notice something. Hey, Lorgren, are you still actually down there? I actually was over with Zul, but I just didn't even care if I was leaving. Kenny! Right. I'm Kenny Crab. <laughs> uh, so when you get to the Shredder, uh, you're taking a good look at it. And something's really peculiar about that buzzsaw. It looks like the blades were fastened onto it, and the round part of it, the disc, looks like 
a relic of sorts. Okay. He's going to take a closer look. I mean, while you may not be of a bronze beard heritage, you think this is something that would be very interesting to look at closer. Well, I do have... I have greed. I get a plus two racial bonus on appraise checks made to determine the price. No, determine the price. Uh, it would mm. probably be a knowledge check, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, I could do an appraise check to see what what it is. The like, knowledge check would be better to know what to identify it as. Appraise would be okay. more like it's worth like to sell. Uh, I guess it would be knowledge dungeoneering. Yeah, I think that'll work. Maybe. Or knowledge engineering. Mm, you know, I would go with engineering. See how bad this roll's gonna be. Well. Okay. Ah. Um. Well, you're not an engineer, but you know that doesn't belong on a shredder. Like it, that. It looks like this piece was salvaged and just put in there together to make it deadly of sorts, but you feel like its potential is wasted there. I'm gonna try to pull it off. Uh, what what is it to, like, disable? Well, not like a device, but, like, to decraft? I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. It'll be disabled. Just, I just... I'd honestly just say a strength check to pull it out. Because oh, I don't think he's trying too. to be ginger with it. Yeah, go yeah, for strength true. check. Okay. Wow. Uh, it doesn't budge that well. With I'm going to try it again. <laughs> Where's the dwarven grunts? What are you doing over there, dwarf? Look at this. This, seems, this shouldn't be half. I'm trying to take it off. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's actually really funny because you're like trying to rough an engineering shop. <laughs> Craig goes up to this fucking shredder and it's starting to pull off a fucking buzz blade. I, I just imagine fucking, uh, Zola's just screwing. Uh, on the inside, he's surrounded by people who. Well, I don't know. Lo I think Zul thinks that Lagra knows at least somewhat what he's doing. But in the meantime, he looks inside and sees, like, What's over there? No, what's over there? <laughs> Head. Well, they're gnomes, man. What do you want? Yeah, from them? yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just how they are. So, are you rolling yeah. your strength check again, Lorgan? Yeah, he's gonna try it again. That's All right, it pops right off. Uh, I want you to do a reflex save too, so you don't hurt yourself with the blades. Yeah. This is where I roll bad. You can do it, Kenny. Oh no, your reflex. Save you oh, have high AC. That has nothing to do with uh, reflex. Yeah, that dash has... Oh. Uh, Actually, his armor hurts his reflex save. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I'll say you failed that. It's not going to hurt too bad. Let's see. Uh, you take three damage from blades. All right. Well. You, you just kind of like... It's like a cut during shaving, except it takes three HP. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Could be worse. All right. Yeah, thank God there's no hyenas out here. <laughs> so, <laughs> go ahead, we son. Still yes. All right, let's go. Oh, thank fucking thank God! Fucking God! Wow! After know. playing Clue for a while in the engineer <laughs> shop and trying Tom to determine, what he's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, Vermont finally finds the toolbox, and it's on top of a. Uh, like a tall workbench thing. Like, I like to think it was in like in the middle of the room with arrows pointing to it. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, they just like got in the room and it's like, what are we doing again? No. <laughs> That's cool. But you guys realize that well, Vermont realizes it's out of gnome reach. You have to be creative to get it. Vermont oh, looks no. at Sumi. You find Sumi. it? Well, yeah, I did. Oh. It's time for you know what must be done. I'm, I'm going on your shoulder. 
I'm going on your it, shoulders, aren't I? It's time for a gnome cutscene. It's time for a gnome montage. <laughs> Zul dies uh, a little more inside. Am I going on your shoulders or? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are such nubs. So am I going I on your shoulders or? Or are you Go. going to? Or uh, are we building something up there? I'm. I'm on. I think I'm going. I'm either on top of or building something in a amazing feat of engineering inspired by something that can only happen 5% of the time. Oh my god. Rip. Rest in peace. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, which one? Is it in reach if we use hands on it? Yeah, you can reach it. Alright. Yep. So, want me to just stand on you since that one's quicker? Yeah, qu I'm on top. No, I'm I'm lighter than you are. He might. Oh yeah, fine. Okay. Vermont suddenly feels pudgy. You're Rip. stronger than I, and you're probably stronger than you I. You regret eating that mystery meat today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead. Jokes aside, Vermont probably is a little bit stronger than I. Vermont has a ten strength. So, so does so she. Oh, okay. They're covered. And so by like the natural being a guy. He's now I want to see them arm wrestle and who wins. Uh, yeah, no, Sumi gets on bumper on my shoulders. Do I have to roll anything? Uh, nope. You're right. just successful. That 20. Okay, I... As this music plays in the background. It. I'm muting it. Anyway. Is there, like, do I have to... I didn't hear you, Kel, so if I had to roll anything. No, you don't. Alright, so yeah, Sumi just gets up on his shoulders and... Through the ma a magical balancing act to that song in the background, she gets she grabs the parts. Yay! And she doesn't drop them. You guys acquire the parts. Do 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 do. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, before they realize, I'm, I'm, before they realize we got out of here. I'm ah! <laughs> and before Z and before Zul lose that, loses faith in us even further. <laughs> I still I still say that one guy. <laughs> so are you guys leaving? Yeah, they're yes. leaving. Yeah, they're leaving. Okay. You guys get out. Um, the battle's still going on. Uh, as you exit the building, you hear the sound of a female goblin dying. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ooh. uh, Tiz is now... <laughs> Oh, that's the right one. Where's the dead thing? What the fuck? There it is. Just put a red X on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's dead. It, the goblins aren't faring so hot. You're getting the impression that the Colterian are winning this right now. He, uh, Zul looks over uh, and sees everything and just says, If the Colterians get occupation... We're going to be having a lot of trouble building that thing. And by that I mean we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna okay. Die. We're gonna die. Would you, would you, we start helping them. Let's do this. All right. Where's Where's Lorgren? Lorgren? Lorgren's looking at this damn uh, salt board. <laughs> Sumi does. Sumi doesn't know where he is. You feel like Lorgren, you should take the blades off. You need to see off. something. Oh. Logren. What? Come here. Oh, you're gonna show him the dead goblin? Oh my god! Oh, don't do that. Oh no! He points to the dead goblin. Oh, Tis. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm thankful he fucking, uh, uses. Everything really. Oh no. Sumi's Sumi's gonna Sumi's on the other side of the wall, hasn't climbed over the wall yet. Morgan's gonna pull his great axe. Oh no. We're going to have to kill the Cotirans. Uh, uh, I'm okay with that, considering how 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 uh, they've been assholes. Are you sure you two should fight you are representatives of the alliance? That's a fair point. You but you can't let they can't try you for war crimes if there's no witness. No survivors. 
All right, uh, let's get our positioning. Uh, where we have a good view of all of the people, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna say this now: the goblins are probably all dead. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. So, Logan, what I kind of want you to do is I kind of want you to get them around you, like in front of you. Uh, I will try to get next to you and cast Fire Breath. What? What Fire Breath does is, up to twice during this uh, spell's duration. The mod. The mod. I don't care. They need to die. Oh, this is a. I, this is charge. Yeah. Listen, just either, just get them in a in a cone so I can breathe fire on. It's gonna hurt real bad. Let's go in to this entrance over here so we can defend any last goblins and recover her body. I'm gonna strap the saw blade to my back. Okay. Actually, is there any way to make the saw blade into a shield? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna pull the long sword. He's gonna tank this shit. Shall we go? Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going over here, Kells, for positioning sake. Okay. Hang on, let me open up this. Oh dear. Everyone, line up behind these doors. We're going to pinch them since they're technically half an army. Hey, Fermat, you forgot to move yourself. So. Uh, we're going right over here, and Zul is going to stand in the middle for now. And he points to either side of the door and just says, Logren, stand right here next to me. I'm going to draw them towards here. When they do, kill them. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the goblins are all dead, right? Yeah. Uh, I look around, is there any, like, goblins peeking out of the windows and stuff like that? You don't- you only see the auctioneer guy, and he's cowering behind the <laughs> He looks dead at the auctioneer guy, and he does the turnaround motion with his hand. What- what's that? Like, are you doing, like, the scar turnaround motion from the Lion King? Like, turn around, I'm gonna pounce your ass! No, no, he- he's just, like, making a circle. What does that mean? <laughs> Turn that. around! Like, yeah. Right. Do you not know the motion? What? He looks that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zul, uh, throws <laughs> off his robes. And you all see a very interesting sight. Demon! Uh, yeah. Uh, it isn't demonic looking, rather, uh, shadowy. Uh, they're like shadow crystalline parts attached to Zul, specifically his back. There's, his hunch is now crystallized by shadow. Uh, his face is even starting to get en encroached with this weird shadowy crystal. And he says, Come, cult heroes. Come attempt to slay the thing you hate. Or do you not remember the wars? <laughs> They're, they're excited to fight. Alright. Uh, where the fuck's this thing? I'm just gonna sit back. Just, cause, just in case. Like, she's gonna, like, just, it, like, she's not gonna attack, but... She, and she lets them know, but, like, like, if things start going to shit, like, if, if oh. they start getting overrun, like, she... Oh my god. Look at those Initiative, boys. boys! Yep. Okay. Um, that's a not 20 initiative. Let's fucking go. So, yeah, so we'll just say, keep. I need one second, here. by the way. You can they'll go. come to us, and they'll have to go in two by two. Oh, or one by one. That's the goal. Alright. Um, what would that, the uh, saw blade correct. count as a, uh. What? Me to, my headset will still be on, so just tell me if you need to roll with it. I'm not gonna pay attention. Oh. Okay. I'm moving Vermont. Alrighty. I'm gonna hero point that because it's fairly important that I go first. 
Good luck, buddy. Alright, well, at least it's better. Yeah. Uh, what are the culture? Right. Give me one sec. Uh, can you guys put in your things? I give you an ad turn. Yeah. I don't... I don't know if it actually works, so... I just put mine in. How many of those guys do I have? One, two, three, four, five... Uh, where's my initiative? There it is. This is gonna be nasty. <laughs> mm. I don't like that. I, I don't think you will. All my rolls. What did Simi roll? Oh, 22. No, yeah. Uh, is everybody's in here? So, like, I can rearrange it? Yep. Is that the right way? No, I did the wrong way again. God damn it. Okay. So, Vermont. Cool. You're... Oh, wait, before we go, what were you asking me again, Kenny, about the shield? I didn't want to forget. What, what is the saw blade as add as AC? Let me see here. Give me one second. I didn't actually anticipate using it as a shield. Hold on. Might as well. <laughs> yeah, no, hold on. Uh... Where did I just see that? No, that's the wrong way. Back. Back. Uh, to your bonus, add a plus four AC. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, Vermont. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. So, Vermont's uh meta magic rod quickens, shines, as uh, he extends his fingertips. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but magic missile strikes without it fail. And he strikes, he lets two fly out at the guy on the horse. Okay. And let me, uh... And then he, go ahead, sorry. For my, for my, that's my swift action. For my uh, primary action, a uh, fire begins to burn in Vermont's belly, but he does, he, he does nothing. And I'm gonna hold my turn. Uh, okay. So, six damage. Okay. Uh, all right. So which guys? Are, okay. Uh, ba -ba. Let's see what I want to do here. Hush you. Hush. Let's see, uh, oh my god, the rulers are weird. I'm just gonna move that guy. Um... Uh, uh, Zack, I swear to god. What the fuck does this do? Mm, he's gonna just wait till you guys get closer to slay you. Alright, so next dude. Which one are you? Oh my god. What? Yeah, he's just gonna move up here. Oh, that's fascinating. Um, so and. Which square is Vermont standing? Yeah, which square is Vermont in? Yeah, Vermont. Because Vermont's in the yeah. I might have moved you, I'm sorry. It was just because I was trying to add your turns. Yeah, you should be around here. So, did he just move into my close combat range? Yeah. Do I get an attack opportunity? Feel free. Nah. No, uh, attacks of opportunity happen when you move through. So, oh. if he moved... Oh, okay. Not go into, yeah. So, if he moved uh, here and then moved here, okay. you'd get an attack of opportunity. Okay, so this guy is going to attack with his sword. 
Let's see. Is he here. attacking? Uh, Lorgan. Okay. How's that feel? What the fuck? Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it hit. Uh, oh. Yeah, let's see here. Damage. Plus 17. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the end of his turn. Sue me. Six hit points left. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hi. Sue me. My guy suggests a fighting retreat. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's. That's yeah. Sue me's thinking they should be fighting this based on. That. But basically, she sees um, Lorgren just get annihilated, and she's like, uh, "We shouldn't do this." Um, she doesn't want to attack because, because like it, in her mind, like if she's gonna. Like in her mind, like she's thinking, if I'm gonna be with these guys, it'd probably be best to have like one person who cultures don't hate as like an oh shit scenario. Um, but after seeing that, she really thinks they shouldn't fight. Okay, so can she can she, can she do a free action to ask a to, uh, to ask a question to ask them something? Sure. Like so, she just she asks loudly, like uh just in their general direction at no one in particular. It's like, so why are you guys attacking the city? She hasn't made any threatening motions toward them yet. Just, no, just to note. Just well, to the see. one that's mounted in the back, uh, he, uh, had taken a hit from the magic missile, and he's like, well, it doesn't look like you guys are, uh, holding back any either. It's only because we're, de we're, we're being You're defended. joking, you charged me. We're defending ourselves. You defending took your robes off and declared a battle. I saw a fight. You acted. Yeah. It doesn't answer the question of why you guys started, started attacking the goblins in the first place. It's not of your concern, gnome. It apparently is, considering you're now, you started attacking us now. Still well, if you why. keep running your mouth, we will kill you. And like you're gonna probably do that anyway. Lord Green is hurt. He does not <laughs> want to do this fight. Yeah. That's what he's <laughs> trying to do. It's like, like um. Look, can we just talk this out to see like why? So like maybe this is a misunderstanding. Lord Green, how? Like, how would you say he was uh, cut? This is Jermaine. Who? How, you. I, I can't see the, uh... Brother, I can't... If they have names... Well, I'm assuming he just, like... Used that pig sticker of his... Stabbed him in the chest. I don't know how he got through his armor, but... Yeah. He got you right in your fucking armpit. Yeah, probably armpit. Because there's a weak spot right there. Okay, well, I'm just trying to figure out, uh, Lorgren, if you're, like, bleeding profusely somewhere, and where. He's probably bleeding profusely. You just took 70. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, health, I'm like, asking you to describe your injury. He probably got his hand clapped over his armpit where the knife was. I mean, I don't know how to describe it, because... Okay. I'm assuming yeah, he's bleeding. can actually help Okay. So you're uh, not gonna fight, Sumi? You just wanted to argue on your turn? She's trying to talk. Yeah, she's trying to, like, stop the fighting, considering they. She. After Lorgren is the tank, and how much is, like, the tank, the guy who's in the armor, and he just got obliterated. Yeah. She's not gonna atta antagonize them anymore. Can you do a perception roll, Sumi? Okay. Because you're standing behind Lorgren, right? Yeah. Okay. Do a perception for me. Um, 
can, can, I, can Vermont yeah. help or someone yeah. help? Yeah, yeah, you guys can help. Alright, let's go. Only one that can't really perception is Lorgrand. He's trying not to die. Yeah, he's kind of dealing with his injury. All right. Hey, so, Vermont, out mm -hmm. of your pea brain little eyes, you notice that the shield, quote, on Lorgan's back, the buzz blade, uh, has some runes starting to light up on it. The tech magic scout knowledge of telling us spellcraft. Okay. Uh, so. Your knowledge is that this is some sort of titan relic, and something big's about to happen. Uh, do I think that- so, can I determine what kind of skeleton? Uh... No. You is don't know what- you don't understand what the spell is. It would is. be- it would be- uh, because it seems like it's gonna be- if it's titan magic, it's going to be an insanely high spell check. Yeah, you don't- yeah. alright. You don't um, really know what's going to happen. happen. Can I know if it's going to be very harmful? Um... Yeah, it's just going to be a surprise. That's all I can say. No. Alright. Are you going to say anything? So, uh, hey, Logan, you're wielding Titan magic. Congratu Congratulations. I have no idea what that's going to do. Excuse me. Jimmy notices it now. <laughs> Grandma looks at Zul. What, right. are you, what are you worried about now? Your oh, back is glowing. The thing on your back is glowing. It's on his arm, actually. Oh, it's his arm? Oh, yeah. I thought it was on his the back. Guy, Sorry. The thing on your arm is glowing. What? He's gonna look down. Grandma looks at Zul. So, what are you saying? Titan magic would. Why do you think it's Titan magic? It's a shredder. Ah, uh, yeah, no, whatever the thing he's holding, very tight. Sure. Well, do me a favor and swing it. Hold on, something's about to happen. Hold on, give me a sec to do this. Ah, uh, da da da. We lose. It's the healer's fault. Oh wait. What oh, healer? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, we let the healer get kited. Yeah, whose fault uh, was we that? We left the healer alone. Uh, no, she, she was she the healer. Swarmed. Why don't you guys was... give me another perception check, real quick? It was the. the it was Lorgren talking. I win. L Lorgren, you hear something? You all hear something. Are you sh oh shit. Uh, Zul hears something and begins putting his robes back on and backing up. <laughs> yeah, Subi. Think you may wanna. Net. Is it coming from his arm? Like, a low arm? You notice the shredders have now started to move. Oh. And they're glowing the same sort of ominous glow the shield is. What are oh, the that seems, doing? That huh? seems like a good. Oh, hold on. That seems like a good time as any. I'm going to cast Flame Breath. A uh, fire breath, sorry. What are you? Lorgan's backing up. He doesn't know what the hell's going on, and he does not want to be in the middle of this fight. In a cone, uh, 15 feet in front of me, everything needs to make a will uh, reflex save, sorry. How far? Sorry? 15 feet in a cone shape. Can you draw? Oh, oh. that's okay, you can delete it. It's, uh, it's just this boy right here. The, the first one? Actually, uh, the two? two? Okay. So they have to do a what save, sorry? A reflex save. Okay. Folks! Actually, no, that's not even the right, uh, that wouldn't be even the right trout. There are your two saves. Okay. Um. Two quest casting. Which one's the line again? No. The distance line? The ruler. It's the fourth icon down, what? and it's like the one, third thing. What? One say one say successfully, one doesn't. Oh. Okay. So the the one that saves takes half damage. The other one takes fourteen damage. Uh, 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 the one that saves takes fi that doesn't save takes fifteen damage. Okay. So I say it's that one, and the other one took fourteen. You said. 
Uh, it takes seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Yeah, because it saves successfully. Oh, it's just gonna... I'm gonna mount your little body on my spear at home. Assuming yeah, she's well. gonna be gives face palm. It's like, for my god damn it. Yeah, um, so, yeah, what do you guys tend to do because if not a whole bunch of Colt are gonna attack? I didn't take my move action, I'm fucking stepping back. Because, quickened. Uh, Bronn's gonna let the Shredders handle it. Uh, the, the Shredder is doing anything right now? They're just getting in the way of the Colt for you. Hey, uh, why don't you command those Shredders to attack? Hey, Lord, yeah, Logan, can you can, can you control them at all with that thing in your arm? I don't fucking know. Yeah, you you, you might want to try. Try to. Otherwise, we're dead. Also, keep behind me, everyone. I, he doesn't know how to use this. I, Do guess a... I don't freaking know. He's gonna kind. Of... Just wave it. Don't attack. Oh, that's what he's gonna kind of do. Is just wave his yep. hand. That's what no. That's what Ben wants. Is shouting at him. I see. Okay. Well, no, that's, that's what he would have done. Like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Hang on, I'm gonna do something to you, Lorgren. One sec. Oh God. Excuse you. Stop it, Zach. There you go. What did you do? I sent a DM to Kenny to describe what's happening. Who oh, good? By the fact that it's functioning right now, can I conclude that the uh, contest has already taken place? <laughs> no. What contest? The contest for the Shredders? Yeah, so you're assuming that it was done? Is that what you're saying? Since that one's moving, yeah. I mean, logical. maybe? Who knows? We, we need the retreat. Let's, let's go. Did the, did the Shredders do anything after, um... Let's retreat! The Shredders start swinging their arms at the Cold Terrans. Like, they're they're starting to attack. Nice. This is good. Let's, uh, get, let's get back to the... Actually, let's see if we can get back to the Winchester and see... And wait until this all blows over. I hardly think this is going to blow it's over. It's not gonna blow over. I mean, it will blow over when those shredders tear those cult to pieces. Yes, but Logan may be controlling them unintentionally. Yeah. If we'd run away from this, so the... we'd run straight to the sands. Do the, do the shredders do any damage to the cult -terrans? You don't know. You just, you know that they're big mechanized things and they're attacking and the cult are quite occupied by it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think we, uh, if we can stay within maybe eye shot, I don't know how this works. We get our, our girlfriend gnome, wife gnome, and then we build that, we build that teleport and we get the fuck out of here. So, what's happening? That's what Beaumont is suggesting. Okay. While you're watching, you see this cult go after the auctioneer. Oh! Yeah, what an asshole! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Oh shit, something. Yeah, Ronald's gonna try to fucking sneaky sneak yeah. towards the inn because he, he has people. Because he has the one person there that can get them out. Yeah. What? It's like, um. I'm debating it if somebody follows him. Bermont's fucking gone. He's, he's fucking 
Uh, are those two Colterians like engaged with? Yeah, the they're Batman engaged with the the, the shredders. Simi follows them. So where are you guys going? You're going to get Satla? Yeah. Um. Are the what? What's this one? Hold on. What's the mech that I'm closest to doing? Is he dealing with this the one? The yeah. red one? Yeah. The red one. Uh. It's one arm is like I guess like a flamethrower and there's fire everywhere. In front? Like going towards the cold tier end. Alright. And then so what's is this boy just fucking chasing uh Fritz Tots around? Yeah, he's chasing Fritz Tots and Fritz Tots is uh, running. Oh Bermont's does he seem unconcerned with whatever Bermont's doing? Yeah, he's busy. He wants to kill Fritz Tots. Bermont's just gonna Keep going. Alright, so you're going into the gadgets and further. Da, 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 all the goblins go. are dead, I'm too lazy to put axes on all of them. Gron's gonna go fucking to the Winchester. Okay, you get into the Winchester. The bartender is gone. Alright. Uh, you don't see Sotla right now. Oh, that's not good. Check upstairs. Gron checks upstairs. You still don't see anybody, you see all the rooms. Alright. Timmy goes up there as well, follows him up there, just start up again, helps him check the rooms. Uh, do a perception roll for me. Oh no. Uh, are you doing to? Okay. Oh goody, somebody has eyes. So sue me. For now, she died. <laughs> she just got her eyes back. Um, so, you go in the room that, I guess, Satla was in, like, when Vermont told her to stay behind, um, and you see on the bed, there's a note. Sumi, good. Vermont, no! And Sumi oh. comes over, picks up the note, starts reading it. Love, like, I had to leave to the it. building. Uh, the Colterian were getting out of hand here. Me and the bartender bailed. Oh, okay, cool. They where? No. Say where? No, she wow. didn't have much time to write. That's fair. Like, okay, well, at least they got out, but we don't know where. Yeah. For now. For now. Let's, let's check the basement, by the way. The what? Actually, Bowen detects magic hard towards the basement. The to basement. If there's, if there's any fucking magic monster meat waiting for them. Oh, no. <laughs> No, you detect zero magics left in the bar. Vermont goes down to the basement just in case. When you go down there, there's a bunch of, like, um, cask of alcohol, um, and, uh, some crates of supplies. Bur Sumi, do you have any fire magic spells? Um, I do not. I don't. All right. What, what was that? Didn't you take the cantrip that was uh, spark? Fuck me! No, oh, I, I did take I... spark. I do actually. Winks. God damn it, Zach. Well. Hmm. Interesting. So I think we should give some Colterians. A... Light some shit on fire. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay with lighting shit on fire. Lord is Lordgren with us? Uh, no. I think yeah, he's tending outside. to his wounds. He's oh, and they're still outside. Far enough. Can you use a hit back? He's not fighting. So. All right. Well, uh, okay. Hey, Mr. Orc, can you uh, knock this one of these tasks I see over? Is Zul with us? I don't think Zul's with us. Is Zul with us? I don't think so. It's just us. Zul's Zul just. Margaret. Stayed out of this. They stayed behind. I figured that they stayed behind outside. All right, the gnomes are at war again. Yep. So... <laughs> no, I can't do it. No, what? I can't. I, I what I was about to do is I was about to go out and see if the fucking blast in this hammer was still there, so I could not. Yes, actually, that's precisely what I do. In uh, I heard oh. that. Yeah, Kelt. Uh huh. Kelt. Is the blacksmith hammer still outside? Why? I yes. 
Belmont takes some glass and hammer and walks over to the cask. Assuming he, he runs back in there. Yeah, oh fuck yes he does. He looks at the hammer with like the... As if he, were, he was looking at an old friend. He raises it and he uh, brings it down on the cask to try to like knock it open. It It's pretty weak. You break it. Uh, so, uh, Belmont steps out. Light it up, Sumi. Sumi does just that and uses, uh, spark to... Ignite? Yeah, to ignite it. Yeah, suddenly there's a lot of fire. You guys oh, feel like you need to get out. Get the fuck out! Get yep. the fuck out! Belmont fucking dips. Yeah, it's <laughs> dead. Belmont and Sumi just start running. It's on fire. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go check the other, uh, houses. Okay. Uh, as you are running outside, you also hear another dying sound. The auctioneer has been killed. Oh. Fucking rip. Uh, I checked this house. That leaves the auction house unguarded. Sumi <laughs> goes, goes and checks the other one. Well, you know, there's a fire next to the auction house that could maybe spread. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do they have the opportunity now to go in there. <laughs> Someone's not gonna go in there. Hey. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. So what do you say? I'm gonna die. So you guys are starting fires there. Is that? Uh I'm not actively trying to spread the fire. I'm oh. going checking the other houses. Sumi's checking it. Sumi's checking the house as well for now. She may act. What are you guys looking for? For uh, no, oh my god, no. Zach. Uh, oh my god, what happened? What did you do to what? me? He makes me talk Texan now. She I... said, "fur" instead of four. I was trying to say four, and I can't. Okay, so. What are you looking for in the houses? Anything? Or are you just Sapphire. looking? No, she's not there. Okay. For once, lot loses interest the second he doesn't see her. You hear the the sound of rushing horse, whatever's horse Sumi's, things. Sumi's in her house. Does she see anything in here? Valley? Oh, does she see anything in here? No. Okay. Su Sumi stays inside the house. You hear an explosion, and there's more fire spreading to the auction house because DM karma. Well, <laughs> Sumi, where's the horse guy going? Towards you guys. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Sumi was right. gonna hide, try to hide from him. Darwin's getting in this house, too. Yeah. Uh, Sumi are you guys gonna do a stealth check? Because I'd advise it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, exactly what she's gonna do. Let's go. Two gnomes attempting to stealth. <laughs> I'm Why do I just like picture them throwing sand over themselves? We can hide in the sand. Uh, God. All right, Sumi. Oh, oh Sumi. no. Hey, Sumi, how how many hero points? You uh, oh no. Where do I see that? Uh, I. It's on your ass. Well, it seems like now is a good time to use it. The DM may reward. I've what? used one already, so I don't know how many I have. So you have two. Oh. You, okay, you have two left. Yeah. So please note that the DM. Use another one. Okay. The DM can reward award hero points up to uh, the maximum of three for good RP, things that they find funny or amusing because they feel like it. Okay. How many? So it's just like how many? How many the um, the DM gives you? No, you start with a maximum of three. Like, you okay, start so with have, three. So, yeah, I have two more. Yeah. So, I'm gonna use uh, I just think, yeah. Because otherwise, I die. Okay, so. Are you re rolling that, Sumi? Yeah, she yeah, is. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Okay. God. Alright. I have one more chance. Alright. I want to use it again. My last two hero points. Are you going to? I mean, right now, it can't, it can't get much worse, right? It can't no, it get worse. It can get worse. No, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it can't get much, you know? Yeah. Should, is it, should they do it, though? Right. Up to you. I can't tell you what to do. No. <laughs> Only Sumi Sparkle Shot can make that decision. 
fuck it. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna risk it. Oh next. my <laughs> god. Oh, what are the odds of that? I, I also hit the wrong number, but it doesn't matter. You guys yeah. hear the horse whinny and stop. And the guy that's mounted on the horse hefts what appears to be a lance and points oh. it at the, the opening of the building where I think Sumi would be seen. Because I don't know um, if you guys left the door open. Seen. She wouldn't be, yeah, she, she would have, um, she wouldn't be visible through the door. She would be, like, covered. She wouldn't be visible, like, through the open door. But he could have heard her, I guess. Okay. Well, some way he's gonna detect her. That's all yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he, uh, gets there ready. There is to... a chance he has to roll perception. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a feel it's more than, like, a six. It yeah, is. It's gonna be gross. He's rolling a crit fail. Yeah. Yeah. He, sees oh. he was rolling a crit fail. Ooh, ooh, the fuck is this? So, yeah, let's see. Uh... Where's my range Just know, attack? Just know, hasn't actively attacked him yet. Yeah. So that matters. Mm, I know. Uh, yeah. let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, okay. That's, uh, to hit. To hit Sumi? Yeah. Yeah, no, that hits. Yeah. Right. Uh, hold on. Well. That could have been worse. Yeah, it could have. takes the hit and is like, Why are you attacking anyway? I don't like I you. I haven't done anything to you. Or any of your men. Maybe you shouldn't be here. I was just passing through. We were, I was waiting to leave. He's getting ready with another lance. about something to do too, bro. I have fucking, I have one thing I can do. If you want to go for it, go for it. Cause it, whose turn, whose turn is it right now? What yeah, we kind of foregone the, uh... Yeah. Uh, well, it's... Guess, it's not yeah, really in order. Us, like, out of the three of us, like, uh... I think it'll be Vermont, because he rolled highest, but... And then we, I guess we could go back to what you two are doing. How many hit die would this guy have? I'll be right back. He has a plus, uh... Yeah, no, he's 19 to attack. Whatever you're gonna cast is not going to affect him if it is yeah. based on his. I eye. don't think you want to know. Color spray uh, will stun. Five or more hit die will stun him. It's. He, his will say is probably stupid though. It is. Uh, if, he's a fighter, so it's probably not that great. No. You know, if you can go for it, go for it, because you have. Oh, here, here's color spray. Better chance than I. Will oh. save. Alright, so I just roll Will? Yep. Yeah, never mind. Jesus! Yeah. You don't wanna what fuck am I with him. To do, dude? Run? Full yeah. Retreat. Yeah. Yeah, full retreat. I'm just, I... gonna, I'm just gonna. Jimmy's just gonna. Is she in range of him? Uh. I mean, you can run. If you're full retreat, you're not gonna get hit. Yeah. Right. Don't worry about That's it. She's gonna do that. I want to stealth. It's move gonna hide behind this uh, house. So me just hey, run, make, just makes a break for backwards. Uh, you can't chase both of us. <laughs> Bro, just kind of knocks on the door. He's like, "Hey, is anyone in there?" Well, like, he he's kind of like here, but he's like just banging on the the walls. No responses. All right. Well. Where where's Calvary man going? Uh, well, he was kind of following Sumi, but now he's just kind of here. He's looking out for any stragglers to murder. Cough you. Uh oh. Let's get off. Head out this way. Okay. So you're leaving Gadgetan? Yep. So y'all went back, correct? Yeah. 
He's gonna head to the, uh, actually, yeah, he's gonna see if we wheel it back to that. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah in the bottom right. The shredders are still fighting, fortunately. How's that? How's Has that it going? killed many? Uh, yeah, I'd say kill maybe one or two of these guys so far. But it took a considerable amount of time. Let me just put that out there. And the shredders, how are they looking? Fine. Perfectly fine? Well, smoking, but fine. So, Zul, seeing this entire situation, well, they're having that whole escapade. This is going to look to uh, Logren and just say, "What did those gnomes say that the goblins were hauling around? Explosions?" I think Subi would have told. Yeah. Yeah, she would have told. That's on the way. What was that? If you, Sorry, uh, you do you out of character, forget. Uh, no, I, I just, I. Oh, okay. Bill just said that. Okay. To remind Logren. Because Kenny, yeah, I'm back. Uh, Zul says, "What did those gnomes say that the goblins were holding explosives?" I don't know if Morgan remembers that or not. Okay, uh, uh, Zul just I... nods and just says, "There are explosions. The explosives that they were holding in the supply chain." Perhaps we should go around and take a look. We're not going to be able to outrun them. They have horses. Whatever. All he's right. Still, he's still man trying to manage his wounds. Yeah. So uh, Zul is going to uh, start heading around the back to see where that <sighs> supply, what the supply chain is doing, and um. if there's anything left over. <laughs> Well, uh, the supply chain, which was up top here, I would say all the goblins that were there were cut down, and there would be cold tear in here, FYI. Would be cold tear in there, huh? Yeah. Can I make a perception check to see where an explosive is? Sure. Okay. Oh. Plus. Uh. Bob. You get the impression that there might be something potent right there. Okay. Uh, how many Kulturan are there? I would say about ten. Ten? Ten. Uh, Kels? Yeah? How far away am I from it? Uh, hold on. Ninety-ish feet? Who's that dude up there? That this one? Yeah. Just another Coltiran mounted guy. All right. On top of the um, explosive, an imp appears. It's Butsy. Oh hey, bu oh hey, Butsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hold on, and where's then... Butsy? He's gonna use his fireball and boom, boom, boom. You're gonna fireball the box under you? The box to detonate everything around there. Okay. Um, boy, this is unexpected. Um, I would say that <laughs> what you do is quite on the the fence of a cataclysm over there. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Kulturian are very surprised, and all of you are surprised because there is quite the knockback, like a recoil of the explosions, because it wasn't really explosives, it was a bunch of Azerite you just right, blew uh, up. Deus of so like, yeah, so yeah, like, this yeah. whole wall is probably demolished. Uh, and yeah, there's like debris flying everywhere. Guards here are like, oh shit. Shredders are still kind of standing, but getting clunked by debris. You this guys have fun. a wall, fortunately. So, yeah. Weeks. Also, I think Gutsy is dead. 
yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you're was imp. That you up there dead too? Uh, well, Everybody up there is probably. Yeah, yeah I would say they're dead. Because they were right in the middle of that. Do any of the other guys in there, any of the Volterans die? The, the ones in the middle are just kind of like <laughs> hit and surprised, but they're fine. Everybody who was near it, uh, do you remember Pompeii? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rip Pompeii. What are we gonna do? <laughs> you guys see this massive explosion <laughs> around the corner, and that's your next question. Yeah, that's her, that's her reaction. It's just like, oh. like after the initial reaction of just like, oh shit, Jesus, Christ, like her version of Jesus Christ on next door's walls. He's like, he's like, well, they're not all dead. I mean, they're much, it's much more manageable. Is it though? Listen, well, so we still have our death machines. They're not looking good. How are they looking? Are they looking good or are they looking pretty You good? don't feel like you should rely on them. They're not looking too good anymore, Vermont. No. And we can't fight these guys at all. No, it's, it's, yeah, no, that's just shit. And we can't reason with them because for whatever fucking reason they don't they hate everyone. How does uh Oof, let's get more it. than more than normal coherence they hate. Hey remember Zol. Zol. He's just coming back, like dusting the like ash of everybody who blew up off of him. And he just says that should distract them if we, we need to, to go to the east. Let me talk to myself. The east. Yes, east, towards the water. He nods, uh, and just looks at, uh, Bermont. Um... I assume he is looking a little more beat up than... Looks at Bermont, where's your me. wife? I have no idea. She, uh, she, I uh, didn't, I know she didn't uh, die when Colterans went on their, uh, calling. She says she's fled with the bartender, uh, possibly out of the city. We assumed her out of the city anyway. We couldn't find her. We checked her call. We checked yep. in in a couple of houses. He, he nods and just says, All right then. I guess we should head towards the ocean. Uh, I, I look. Do their boats look unmanned? Well, let me just show you the map. That's the map. You you see uh, the larger boats. You can't quite tell that there's personnel on it, but hey, look, you see a lot of little boats. Okay, a lot of little boats. AKA four. Is that a lines vessel still there with the? Oh, that's right. There was a line. Yeah, yeah there. Right. Castile is there still. Yes. Uh, is can we get there in a straight shot? To their boat. To the alliance's boat, yes. Mm, yeah, I guess if you take, you know, the boats closer to it, you know, oh. mm -hmm. these guys. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Coltiran ships, so pretend those are Coltiran. Fair enough. This one is alliance. It's strict alliance. One. Yeah. The, the very alliancey one is the alliance one. Yep. I found Vermont's wife. She's right oh, there. there she She's oh, no. not actually there. She's, She's here. Out. She's saved. Get the fuck out. He doesn't see her. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Zul looks at everybody and just says, "Again, you are part of the alliance." Yeah, we are. Yeah. Vouch for me, please. Let's move. Yep. Well, no. Aren't you like a major, Sumi? Yep. I may outrank a lot of the people on that boat anyway. Yeah, work, work your, uh, work your, your, your big calm dick. I right can't then, promise let's that go. They, I, can't, I can't promise that you may, that you won't, they won't insist you, uh, go to, like, pri a prison or something, but I can guarantee you won't die. But I, I don't know. Zumi looks, looks at him and is like, I don't know how paranoid they are, okay? And just says, I thought the camps were done with. They're, oh, they are. To my knowledge. Ha. Ha. I, mean, I don't know how paranoid kinda... these guys are. 
Christ. He just kind of narrows his eyes and just says, I've done nothing, let's move. So way out of here. I've done nothing! That massive explosion, nothing my ass! I don't ass. know him. And there Karina no Ward's head! You there, fed it to demons! There were no witnesses! Actually, so Belmont can... Bel with this knowledge, Belmont and Sumi can say, Oh yeah, no, she to he totally blew off a horde supply of Azerite. There you go. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. He might have done it accidentally. He, he might have not. Oh, he would have stopped that anyways. He doesn't like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't don't tell them. It, don't tell them. Like just tell them it was like he blew up a horse and blew up a It's fine. <laughs> I can't wait for that it's conversation. Not, it's, it's he blew not. up a horse supply of Azerite. Wait, what I do? <laughs> Sumi oh, knows yeah. that. Sumi straight up knows. Sumi and Burmont know it was horse supply. Yep. Burmont. Oh yeah, you're never going back to Orgamar again. Sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay, know. it's okay, there's no witnesses, it's okay. Exactly. You can't be conv convicted of a war crime if there are no witnesses left. It's true. So yeah, so uh, do unless... We, do we have any yeah. problems getting over there? I need you guys to do checks for uh, manning rowboats. Oh. Okay, which, which one is that? I'm assuming we take the one on the far left of the ship. Well, I don't know if there's like a ride, but I know there's handle animal, and that's not an animal. But... I don't think you really need to do yeah. a check with a rowboat. I think it gives you a bonus. Oh, to okay, swim then. That's like plus fucking 30. Oh, then fine. You guys sail fine then. You're in this rowboat. <laughs> Imagine we take the one on the far left, considering we Absolutely. don't have to go close to the cult tiering ships that oh i thought I, th I thought we were going to go on the far right boat and try to fucking ram the cult tiering <laughs> why no I'm, god no not doing this. yeah no that's how you die so you guys are all going to the boat right it crossed my mind to blow up the black powder kegs on the boat but we can't do that right now so you guys are going here right yes yeah. yes is there anything you guys want to say that you're doing on the way over uh is there an alliance banner? Oh yeah, the whole sails are alliance. No, no, no. I mean on the row boats. No, those are Kultiran boats. Your. Bermont promptly takes off the Kultiran sail. Okay. So, uh, Zul on the way over there will just say, "So the alliance are letting this happen. Are you sure this is going to go well?" Uh, the way I see it, we're, we have luck. The Burmont points at two ships. Two versus one. I, it, we pro they probably wouldn't prefer us to be slaughtered along with it. Also, it's completely possible that Alliance Navy personnel aren't aware of this. He looks back at the city that is exploded on fire and everything <laughs> is burning down and looks back at Burmont. I'm probably aware of Burmont of the, of the, of the Kul'jaren's attacking the city. I mean, listen. Possibly. Let's let's get the fuck out of here first, though. Yeah. Man. All right, we head over there. Okay. So when you get to the boat, uh, yeah, there's obviously a lot of alliance footmen and stuff on the, the lower deck. They uh see you without a spyglass, and uh, they they're kind of like raising their eyebrows at the orc. He's with me. He's with me. And like Sumi, like glissed off like her, like Major Sumi Sparkle Sprock at the number, the whole thing. Yeah, this guy's squinting at you, like, yeah. man, you're really she, like, tiny. She lifts, off, she lifts off her. She lifts off her whole thing. Her whole spiel. They toss a rope ladder down. Uh, we all climb the rope ladder. I hope yep. you guys can climb. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it gives a plus 20, so I really do hope we climb. <laughs> but I want to kind of fucking... Uh, overturns the robot when everyone's gone to drew. So... This is fine. Great, we're safe! I don't like this! Huh, we're not, we're not in the prisons of danger. That's unfortunate. Anyways, that's part of my character. <laughs> Let's fix that. Yeah, Let's no, put myself in danger. Bermont also climbs up the rope. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the night captain, Castiel, appears. And he's like, oh, of course it's you guys again. Hi, we also, we brought a major this time. Do you have a, do you, do you know these guys? I know like, those three, I don't know you. Like, oh, well, 
Yeah, that's what I was sent over here. I was sent over here on my way to some of this by Marshal Theodore Bennis. But I think this is here. background information. The city is burning and it has exploded, and the Colterians are killing everyone. Yeah, no, the Colterians totally just murdered everyone in the city. They also attack the Lion's military personnel. Yeah, so. and they and yeah, and Sumi points to the wound that the um that one Colterian on the horse left, and yeah, they straight up attacked me too, the Lion's personnel. Those of you that are injured, go to the lower deck and check out the infirmary. The rest of you just stay here. And he's gonna turn around and go up to get the boat moving again. So it's... Um, I think it was only me and Logan that were injured. I think so. Hey, by the way, did you see King Care Gnome anywhere? Castiel kinda, like, tilts his head and sort of shrugs. Like, I don't think so. I just saw that one. <laughs> like he's gesturing where Sumi went. Father Mem Mark. There's a member of the Alliance trouble in there. So just go rescue her. Sumi's out of here. I'm sure she's fine. The Alliance needs leaves none behind unless you want a direct report to Marshal Theodore Grenis. Feel free. I'm not going back there. Hmm. Grant's gonna go down and just try to convince Sumi to uh, take command. Uh, Zul is going to hang out around the infirmary where he's less around everybody else. And yeah. has the and has a major of the alliance on his side. Yeah. It is, I assume Lorgren is in the infirmary too because he was injured as shit. Yep. I mean, unless Lorgren doesn't want people to help him. I don't care! He hasn't been saying anything, so that's why I'm asking. Kenny! Yeah. What? Is Lorgren down there? What's going on with Lorgren? I'm assuming you went to go get healed. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah, so you guys down there are getting healed. The boat is moving away from Gadgets and slash Tenaris. Hey, so can you convince the uh, night captain to, you know, help the, the stranded people of the Alliance here? Um, well, we don't know where they went. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I, if with, the, like, it's, and, like, they could have gone anywhere in Tenaris. Like, I reasonably cannot, can't convince them of that. I'm sorry. I mean, do what, do, do what I do. Oh, wait. Never mind. Like, it's because, like, they could have gone any direction. There is... I don't have enough knowledge. Input. What'd you say? What my input? Shoot! The gnome is a small girl, despite being rather dim most of the time. She has the schematics for a teleporter. She has a Arcanite spanner. I imagine she grabbed something before she left the city. Grandma nods and just uh, folds his hand. As he, as he looks back to the, we, we, I think we just witnessed something. <laughs> yeah, so no, that, long lasting effects. Yeah, there, that's gonna have some problems. That's gonna that's have some war crime. That's gonna have, yeah, have, no, you're not wrong. They just slaughtered an entire, they just slaughtered a bunch, like everyone in Gadget City, including civilians. Not to mention, I believe that they're the Steam Little Cartel, not the other. Yeah, they're yep. the neutral ones, too. They didn't play any favorites. They attacked him for no reason. And the, and the guy who attacked me, like, I was trying to ask him to get the note why they were doing it. He just said, because they don't like me. Because he didn't like me. So there was no reason for them to do it. He, he looks over at Vermont and just says, I'm getting the feeling that your friends, the Alliance soldiers, are going to cover this up. Well... Uh, the Colterians aren't our friends. Apparently. They're not. Not your enemies when they kill your civilians. Oh no, this is probably gonna be part of, uh, some political ruling. As yeah, in... Probably. You're, you're going to do, you're going to supply us with ships, otherwise we'll get... Take them. Yeah, at this point that's probably what's gonna happen if This is, after all, a justification for war. Yeah, no, it 100% is, especially because the... My boss wouldn't take, isn't gonna ha handle this shit. Well, I don't know if it's a, if it is for officers. 
I'm an NCO. Yeah, no, I, my boss, my boss, uh, Mar the guy I mentioned, Marshal Venice, he's not gonna handle this. He, he looks over at Lagren. Guaranteed. For your green react to this. You were nearly gutted. Great damn sure she'll be pissed off. So this entire voyage is good, uh, Vermont, Sumi, trying to, co you know, collaborating, getting things in order. Yeah. Unless, and hopefully with Lorgren as well. Yeah, it's gonna be if like Lorgren's the... If Lorgren's also down to, to talk to them throughout this. And Zul is just going to assume Rain made it on the boat with him. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> yeah, Rain's there. There's no question. I I imagine I imagine that uh, Zul just kind of he looks off to the side. He just sees her for a second. She waves and then goes back into stealth. Uh, it would probably be more like, uh, you boarded the vessel, and on the other side, while well, the footmen were distracted with you guys all coming on board, she was standing on top of a cannon, and then disappeared. Okay, that's cool. Uh, creepy, ominous, but, you know, it's cool. Yeah, she didn't... She didn't wave, she just was standing there and then was gone. Yeah, very characteristic of her. Yes. I just like how you assume she's there, that's the funny that, part. That is what he assumes, because she just kind of pops up. And, uh, Zul, on the other hand, is, uh, going to find a corner and make sure that whenever anybody comes near him, he says he's sick. Oh. He's just completely covered, nobody comes near him, and nobody touches him. He gets touched in the shadows. I'm just saying. Ah. Sumi, Sumi can help bear a vouch for him. So, like, the captain's like, yeah, no, he got it. It's like that he got sick or something. Just leave the beat. Have you seen this guy's hunk? That's not the, that, that's not the hunk of a, of a healthy man. Yeah, I, all of his shadowy shit is covered, and he's just laying in the boat. Yeah, just, just leave him be. Just... He just lost his imp. He's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mention the imp? <laughs> no. he, he can get another imp. <laughs> he can, yeah. yeah I mean, also, it's... it's just gonna be the same one, because while the Burning Legion is dead, demons still respawn. Some reason. I imagine like, they would still respawn, it would just take longer. Yeah, that's yeah. basically what it is. Like, as long as they're bound to you, they'll come back and just take Which is, them. which will still probably be pretty damn quick for something like a, an imp. Less yeah. so for like a pit lord. Yeah, no, pit lord is, I imagine a pit lord just isn't coming back. In your lifetime. Your, your uh, pit lord, the pit lord arrives 10,000 years later to, uh, to, to wreak havoc on your descendants. Pretty much. All right, so you guys are getting legal documents in order, yeah. right? Always. Lagrin is uh, helping a little bit, I guess, right, Kenny? Morgan's trying to get his shit together and fixed. Well, yeah. no, like they said, we're talking about like the entire voyage. Like this is what's happening. I assume so. Yes. Yeah, I would uh, say this voyage is gonna take a couple days. Because you guys are going towards uh, the East End Kingdoms. Where, where, uh, where in particular? Stormwind or...? I think this would warrant them a trip to Stormwind, yeah. If there's no issues at sea, which I haven't rolled for yet... Yeah. Oh, no. what, what's that sigh? Yeah, there could be issues at sea. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. I mean, All at right. this point, I'm gonna be honest, oh, Celia, I didn't plan much further after you guys getting on the boat. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to entertain roleplay at this point, but as far as, like, where developments go, I can't really say I haven't constructed it yet. Do you have anything for Stormwind? Not yet. 
Alright. Alright, do you guys want to do anything on the boat? Any RP that you want to have? Uh, Anybody have questions for Zola of why he just blew up a horde thing? <laughs> Despite not knowing? Rain just casually pokes him yeah. while he's on the ground. Like, Sumi, actually, Sumi would know, did it, it's like, um, actually, I will actually go for that one. Like, Sumi just, like, looks to his wood, I guess, like, during, like, that, that initial thing. It's like, and by the way, Zul, did you know that that was Horde Azerite? Or Horde Explosives? I didn't, but what? I don't rightly care. Oh, well, it's okay, they were, uh, they were meant for Sylvanas. Yeah, Sylvanas was giving They were a cheeky, cheeky bastard. Oh, yes, Sorry about your supplies. I it know she's a war tree. She is not my war tree. He got very angry when he said that. Right. <laughs> the Grant kind of loves the crack of his head. And he's he's just like, yeah, sorry about that, by the way. And he shakes his head and just kinda of rolls his eyes and just says, The horde you see now is but pitiful. I'm not a part of it, nor would they take me. Their honor clouds their judgment. Fair enough. Well, as long as well, uh, I'll, if they give you any problems, I'll just tell I'll just tell them that you blew up a horde, or it's five ass right. It's the it's a big deal right now. It's probably well. He he nods and just says, "Give up." Yeah, no, I'm not gonna Of course. Listen, you're, 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 you're the fucking, you, uh, you're assist, you rendered assist. That's okay. Uh, I'm not a part of your alliance. Of course not. You, you merely rendered assistance. Which will go, get a long way. No, I know that the alliance has made you in the past. Swing that. Yeah. Of course. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, Sumi and I are pretty good with words. Yeah, not all of not all of the alliance not all alliance people are hate boards in the board board races. I've not met a single one who doesn't. They're, they do exist, like myself and Vermont. Gnomes and soldiers. Huh? Yeah, your soldiers. Yeah. Dude, there's a, like I know um Marshall Bennis is uh, is is okay is okay with them. Deal is still intact. You can give me a list of the known demons. Yeah. Good. I think with that, he'll be quiet. Anybody else do anything? Um, I'll say later on. Uh, Sumi like finds Vermont when Zul is not Zul and Lorgren aren't nearby. And it's like, so Vermont, when are we gonna, uh, so about that deal you made with him? Right, um... Like, he, I know, you mentioned it before, but I don't oh, know how that's so gonna, it's not gonna fly. I mean, listen, he, we're, we're giving him a list of demons, we're not giving him, we're not giving him the name of our, of our, uh, Vanguard control demons. Just demons out on the field that we haven't yet disposed of. That's fair. Legion okay. agents. I don't think Ink Kit gives a shit who knows if uh, if if an orc knows that that. that he uh, did Legion say specifically agents. that he wanted Legion once, yeah. not even. Yeah. You would know that. Yep. That's fair. I don't think Ink would care too much. She might. She might care. Beans and beans and Ink might care a little bit. It's hard to say. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Also, Zul would have the sideways mention of, can you go ask them why they stood aside? I'm actually curious about that, too. 
Which, can I ask them what? Why they stood aside. Why and they what? killed. While the Colterians killed everyone? Yes. Yeah, I can do that. I'm actually curious about that myself. Looks at Kells who's muted. <laughs> Say that again, sorry. Uh, Sumi's so going up to the captain or if he's busy, like one of the officers. Oh, uh, so you're going up to Castiel? Yeah. Okay, what are if you asking him? If, if, he's, if he's free, not like while he's He's just busy, but... steering the boat. Alright. It's like, hey, uh, Sir Castiel, question. Hmm. Where, what, where, what was going on while you guys, while the city was being destroyed? Anyway, is there, uh... was there, was there a reason, was there like a, um, trying to think of, I'm out of character, trying to think of the word. Okay. Was there a, um, is there a new treaty or strategy that prevented you from going in and helping? Yes, I was, uh, informed by the crown to not interfere with Kultir's matters. So, I was just standing by, because we came here to investigate something, and the Kulturans asked us to wait, so, there we are. Well, they just, well, that's, that kinda sucks. Just, yeah. so you're, just so you're aware, they did just straight up commit war crimes, they slaughtered everyone, including civilians. Yeah, that's in the report already. Alright, I was just curious, I was just curious, I figured it was, I figured it was from orders from above, but... I was I, mm -hmm. I, I, I've had to do similar things before. Do you like writing reports? No, but I do it. Do you think you could add some more input from your side of things for us? Sure. He's gonna pull out the report he started and offer it to her. Okay. Uh, it's... Thanks, okay. Major. Yeah, talk about you. Yes, sir. Um, she takes it in. Looks at it, looks it over, and then take. And it's take pretty it extensive. Just yeah. FYI. Yeah, she, she oh my God, it. Roxy. <laughs> Sorry. One moment. Somewhere on the boat. Is Rocky barking also in the report? <laughs> it is now. I guess it is now. As we entered Gadget Sand, they started killing everyone. <laughs> Women, children. <laughs> Women, children. Children. Puppies. Sparking was the worst part. I still hear it in my dream. Not only because we, one of them is bored. Actually, that might act. That might be the primary cause. All right. So, anybody oh. else have something to do? Uh, yeah, no. Nah, Sumi's just gonna. Sumi's gonna be working on that, writing her her stuff to that report the entire time. Then. Uh, Including Kels' barking puppies. They will relate somehow. <laughs> so, um, I think Zul will go up to uh, Lagren and just say, How are you holding up? How do you think I'm holding up? Shit. It's fairly obvious. I'm alive, aren't I? That's not what we have a problem with. Oh, I have a problem, alright. There's nothing I can do about it just yet. Just yet? I just wanted to make sure that you aren't giving up after what they did. Oh no, they just pissed me off. Good. Use that. That's exactly what I do to the demons. Morgan's gonna nod and just kind of look off. I, I don't know where he is at the moment. <laughs> he's somewhere below deck. Yeah, he's just gonna kind of brood and simmer. He's very angry. <laughs> okay, he's Understand. Old. Understand. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to just uh, sit up above deck and just start, you know. He's singing? Instead of, yes. Instead of singing with a gnome sword, he came rather well so an, old, an a salty human sea dog. Also, Lauren, as much as Sumi seems to be cheerful, she's not happy, not happy either with it. 
All of a sudden, above deck, we hear, Beware, beware, the daughter of... Yes, actually, fuck, that's exactly, that's gonna be how it is now. I was, I was about to go with the old triangle, but no, this works. So. So. Is that a wrap? Uh, it depends what happens in Celts. <laughs> so I do not have much else to say. Oh, what did you do? Alright. Sumi's just uh, working, on her, working on her report, making sure like, the facts are all straight. Someone sent me a uh, funny piece of art to troll someone. That's why I'm laughing. That oh, they concerned. You wouldn't get it. As the as the as I would send it to you, Beans, but you wouldn't understand the joke. I'm deeply concerned. You should be. But yeah, that's that's all I got. Oh, and Kells, whenever she finishes the report, make sure, and double checks to make sure her facts are straight, she gives it back. Also, doing her own report on what happened as well. God, is it nice not having a character who's loyal to the Horde. Right? <laughs> yeah. That would have been a wee bit awkward. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. Granted, is Bourbon actually, like, loyal to the Alliance, since this isn't actually... I mean, he's always been loyal to the concept of the Alliance. That's fair. He's, but this, uh, this Bourbon has no, uh... Yeah. No, this, he, he was loyal to his Alliance, like, generally they're pretty much the same. They're the exact and, same, with, like, maybe, yeah. like, some very, very minor differences. Shaw is a, is a woman! Yep. Or, in your yeah. reality. Bermont also like has he probably encountered uh, realities where the alliance is eat in his opinion, the alliance is Cut out. <laughs> the alliance is evil from my perspective. Then you are lost <laughs> And and in that in, in another universe that exact scenario is played out with uh with fucking Tor with Toalian and no, it, it, with Uther and fucking Toalian. Oof. He hung let, Toalian. Let, let's let's talk about how uh, uh, Urel pulled a fucking 360 and is yeah. now like Hitler. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't I don't even want to get started on that. That's some bullshit. Warlords are too. No, I, I, I agree. Even Warlords, in uh, the, from what I've heard, yeah. the quest line intro it makes it allows it to make a bit more sense than just hearing about it but I, and yeah. along with the fact that like for that for like for them it was 30 it's been 30 years the the, the problem years, is with but... that that time skip and everything is the only thing we saw from Urel is how great she is yeah that all of a sudden she's evil it's just like what yeah it, it would be lazy. nice some hint was dropped besides a oh, yeah. dark secret, but it was never expounded upon. Quad just, they gave up mid Warlords of Draenor. Yeah. And now they're expecting, they're shitting in our mouths and expecting us to say it tastes good. Her, her dark secret, I, I still maintain, she accidentally lost the uh, Exodar in a game of cards to a young rogue named uh, uh, Stan Holo. <laughs> I'm back, by the way. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have nothing left to uh do. Yeah, so okay. Just, on, yeah, yeah so that's fine. Just working on the report. Uh, gives it back once she's 100 percent certain it's all good, and works on her. And then like copy, and then maybe like copies her, copies her stuff to for her for her report. Okay. Literally, it doesn't take his stuff because there's no reason for her to take his stuff. But added to her report, she just takes. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Then, if anything, um, she that she mentioned just just because um, if she copied all of his stuff, then it would be take 
and she, I imagine she'd run out of time. Right. So that's I imagine, fine. Like she, if anything, she'd add an addendum for beans, saying, "Hey, talk to this dude if you want more information." Okay. Anything else that you guys did that I should know before I conclude our session? Just nope. I think it was just random. It was just random RP. Okay. Um, are you guys good September 22nd for another game then? Uh, it's a Saturday. Uh, probably not for me. It's my yeah. buddy's birthday. Okay. So I may have to go to West Virginia. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. But if he comes down here, he's still going to want to do stuff for his birthday. So. Okay. Uh, uh, I know Fridays are bad for me. Because, mm -hmm. I, I mean, our grades will stop at uh, 1030 our time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you want to do it later in the evening, but... It would be kind of tough, but I could try. It's just, you know, I work every day of the week, and then I barely have energy after midnight. So I could start a session and see how long I could last, but... I mean, I'm open to giving it a shot um, on the 21st if you guys are available. The 21st? Yeah, Friday. All right. Oh. Um, I can. I get home from work. Uh, the earliest I can do on Friday on the 21st is like eight o'clock because I get off. I'm yeah, we were just saying 10 p.m. Okay, then that'd be perfectly fine. Yeah. No, it's uh, like good. much more doable for me. Yeah. Zach. Cause I'm not. Yep. I'm not closing on that Friday. All right, so September twenty first, ten p.m. Do you work that Saturday? No. Kills. Okay. So you should. You'll be good at least. Like you can sleep in if anything. But it's yeah, good. I'm I, I gonna you need to probably die. Kills, are you staying up a, a little bit or, lo or longer? Today? Yes. Yeah. All right. You want to talk about things later today, or once the session's over? I was gonna uh, say, you may have Beans is gonna be coming into play. Oh, right. 